the University of Miami, one of the most storied programs in the history of college football with some of the greatest legends of all time strapping it up for the U. And during the 1980s and 90s, they were at the top of the football world, winning four national titles over the two decades. Then in 2001, they had arguably the best team in the U's history and possibly the most talented the college football world has ever seen. And their 2001 squad went 12-0 and on their way to winning a national championship. But after the 2001 season, the Canes have completely fallen off. And since the 03 season, they have had one year with 10 plus wins and have been nowhere near a national championship. So my mission is I'm going to start with the 2001 Miami Hurricanes roster and I have to catapult the Canes back to national prominence and create the greatest dynasty of, of all time. Right now, the gold standard is Nick Saban's run at Alabama, where he has won six national championships in 16 years. So I have 16 seasons to try to get at least six, but I'm going to try to get seven rings over this stretch. But here's the twist. I'll be creating the top 24 recruits from real life recruiting classes, starting with the 2002 recruiting season. And my aim to sign these superstar players and create a new dynasty at the U. So join me as we journey through each season. Watch me try to sign the nation's top high school recruits, dive into the significant matchups such as the ACC championship game and any national championship games we make. In all, I've created over 320 real life recruits across 14 real recruiting classes and we'll be simulating each season from 2001 to the conclusion of the 2016 season. If you have any suggestions for other historic teams I should take on in a future challenge like this, drop a comment down below. I'm considering squads like the Bushled Trojans or the Tebow Gators. Now this is going to be part three of this series. Part one and two will be linked down below in the description. And in part one, we broke down five seasons from 2001 to 2005. Then in part two, we went from 2006 to 2010. Then this will be the final episode where we go for six seasons from 2011 to 2016. All right, boys, so here we are getting started on part three, the final part of this Miami rebuild, Miami Dynasty Challenge. So I have not recorded one of these in about a week. So we just got off back to back undefeated national championship wins. We haven't lost the game in two years. We're at, on at least a 28 game winning streak more, honestly, but 14-0 last two years. Beat Georgia both times. It's us and Georgia, the two best teams in the country recruiting the best doing all that so it's 2011 season 2012 recruiting class already made the recruiting class but um i want to quickly go through our roster just because it is the start of a new uh video so at qb we got cam newton for one year he's a redshirt senior he's never started we had jake locker the last two years we got young aj mccarron he's actually turned into a pretty good player so He'll probably end up starting us for, for us for two years, um, but definitely need to get some more quarterback talent in because we have two seniors and a, a sophomore. That's it. We have a sophomore, Trent Richardson, who's going to be an absolute beast. He's the only created guy, but we do have some you know young talent in behind him as well. So, but we have him for the next three years. I got my crazy six foot six, 270 pound uh, fullback, which is fun. I got Des Bryant as my number one receiver. We had him and Percy Harvin for the last two years, just kind of splitting time. So Des is really going to be our go-to guy this year. Um, we got Chris Kearney, Will Lewis, DeAndre Hopkins. So I'm actually going to play D Hop over Lewis and play him in the slot. Um, those are only created guys is Des and D Hop, and then a lot of. But we always do really good recruiting receivers, so should be good there. We got this Andrew Oliver, a sophomore tight end who looks really good, and some other guys in behind him. O line, we got Tyron Smith, a couple of a nice freshmen in behind him. We have DJ Fluker, who's a junior, Kyle Caps, and another decent freshman, good senior, and then a junior in behind him. So we have a really good O line this year that's pretty um, seasoned. Yeah, all kind of juniors, seniors, so really good O-line this year. And we do have some young guys coming up. D-ends, we got left ends just okay. We got a really good right end in Carlos Dunlop, but our two best ends are both seniors. So we definitely got to we gotta recruit some defensive ends 100%. 
The tackle were pretty freaking good. Darius, who's a senior. Tregan Felder, who's a sophomore, going to play a ton. Sophomore, freshman, freshman. So I got a bunch of freshmen in last year. I think I remember linebacker is kind of our weakest position. We got Wade. We got CJ Mosley Miller. Okay, it's actually improved a bit, but we don't have any like super studs. We do have a young Ryan Shazier and a run, a young CJ Mosley to kind of build around, though. Then we got Patrick Peterson at corner, a junior. Then we got a senior, junior, ooh, and then freshman. So corner defensive end um qb are where we really need some help this year and honestly safety if i remember eric berry's a senior and keith jones is going to be really good for us but then this george butler i'll probably start next year so we can get a safety some corners some ends and a qb that's going to be really the positions we are going to be going after so team looks really good on paper let's just get into um the recruiting all right so this is a pretty good group of prospects not my favorite but definitely pretty solid we go by qbs we got two creative ones we got Jameis winston i was really hoping we'd be on his list we're still gonna go after him we might be you know in the five six seven spot really don't want him to go to georgia the other one is paxton lynch this would actually be pretty nice he's from this state he ended up going to memphis i think he's a first round pick i think of the broncos maybe a high second round pick but i'm pretty sure first round pick is huge he's like six seven so honestly if we got either of those two i'd be totally happy with it i'm not even going to worry about any of the other guys uh, if we go to running backs we got two we got Kenyon drake and todd Gurley. i would have loved Gurley. um doesn't look maybe we'll go after Ken after Kenyon. like look at georgia georgia's one on both those guys they were one on Jameis. georgia is just getting everybody um, we don't really need a running back right now, so I'm not going to go too crazy here either. Okay, wide receivers. We have a pretty good group of them. I think we have four. So we got Doriel Green Beckham, who is the number one recruit in the country this year. It was kind of a bust, but he was huge. Like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, could run. Stur and he went to Mizzou. Sterling Shepard went to Oklahoma. Stephon Diggs went to Maryland. We got Amari Cooper from Miami, Florida. We're getting Cooper. I'm pretty confident we can edge out Florida. So that's who we're going to go after. We're also going to have to go after this Greg Byers guy. Uh, maybe this Babcock. We're going to call it there. So that's kind of the group we're going to go after there. We go down to tight ends. I don't think we have any created guys. Um, we do have a good sophomore tight end, but obviously we're going to recruit some. Those two four stars would probably be a good start. Maybe we'll go after those three four stars. Try to lock one of them down. Okay, tackles. We have three good tackles. So we got Ronnie Stanley, Taylor Decker, and DJ Humphreys. And Humphreys is the only one we're even on his list. Don't love that. I mean, they're not really from the area, Decker and Stanley. He looks like he's staying on the West Coast. This Holloway, who's the third tackle. We're actually number two. He's from, from Florida, so I like that. Uh, we'll go after that three-star, maybe this three-star, just because we might get some auto commits from those guys. Okay, then we'll kind of cut it off there. Okay, if we go down to guards, we only have one created guard, but he is really good. It's Josh Garnett. He ended up going to Stanford. We are not on his list. We are on this brown guy, so four-star, 73rd overall prospect. I like that. Also, this four-star. Okay, we'll call it there. Then if we go down to centers, I have no created guys, but we are first on this this three or four star right there, a four star. Yeah, we'll just go after him. That's a pretty good group of O-linemen. Every year I want to get, try to get two to three O-linemen a year. If you do that, you're always going to have a really solid O-line. So that's kind of always my goal. Okay, if we go to defensive ends, we got three or four. So we got Dante Fowler. I'm shocked. He's from Florida and we're not even on his list. I'm going to go after him. Got this Clayton who's not a created guy. Should have more. I didn't made some of them de-tackle. Okay, there should be Leonard Floyd who I made a D-end, but maybe I accidentally made him an outside linebacker. Somehow I made him a three-star? I don't think he's a three-star. They must just have him ranked weird. Okay. Because I definitely didn't, didn't make him a three-star. Okay, so we're on his list. So we're going to go after Floyd. We're going to go after Dodd as well. But that's two of the creative guys. I think if we got Floyd, I'd be pumped. He's only a three-star, but he's he's going to play a lot better than that. So I like that. Go to D-tackles. This is some, some good D-tackles. We've got Leonard Williams, who's from Florida, and we're not on his list. I'm going to go after him. we got Eric Armstead from Cali. And we got DeForest Buckner from Hawaii, and we're not on any of theirs list. And Eddie Goldman, we're not on his list as well. So Leonard Williams, we're going to go after just because he's from the state. 
We have some other guys who aren't the created guys who look like we're pretty high on their list though. So even if we locked some of them down, we'd still be in a really nice spot. Okay, we're actually starting to fill up a little bit here. Okay, if we go outside the linebackers, we got one at Shaq Thompson. He's from Sa uh, California. We're not on his list. I'm not going to go after him. Those two four stars I am. We go middle. We got one. It is Reggie Ragland. He went to uh, Alabama in real life. He's from the state of Alabama. We're just going to go after this one guy, Rhodes, here. So we only have five spots. Okay, corners. We only have one. It's Ronald Darby. Um, not on his list. Corner is kind of a spot we need right now. And we are not getting anything better than three stars. One four star. So that's not great. If we go to safeties, we got one free safety. And we're not on his list. From Florida. Still going to go after him. Safety looks pretty good. We'll go after him as well. Strong safety. There's one. It's Landon Collins from Louisiana. Says we're not on his list. Okay, I got to go drop some guys so we have room for athletes. Okay, I opened up three spots. So we're going to get this. We're going to go after this safety. Five-star athlete. And this athlete here. Okay, so that's where our recruiting class is looking like, guys. That is where we're sitting. Uh, going to get into our red shirts now. None for QB. Running back, we'll just do this uh, freshman here. We'll do this guy, why not? Uh, Wideouts, I'm probably going to do all three of these guys. Tight ends, we'll do this sophomore, try to buy a year. He might be a good backup in a few years. We'll do this junior, freshman. Yeah, we're going to have at least 10. Yeah, we're going to have 10 O linemen. Okay. Um, defensive ends, we'll do this 78 here. Honestly, maybe actually we'll do this sophomore carry. We'll start our two, these two on each side and that might buy us a year well that will buy us a year with the other guy we'll do those two for d tackles we'll leave our junior there ah we could probably wait a year with Mosley, but we will do shades here this year we'll do maze we'll do morse that's kind of what our red shirts are looking like depth chart we're gonna be starting cam obviously i want to put uh d hop in the slot we want to get him rocking early uh, the other thing was our DN. So I'm going to play the Phillips here at starter. Yeah, so that should be it for that. Okay, we're going to look at our custom schedule. I cannot remember at the last episode if I brought some new guys, new teams. Yes, I did. I brought, did I, yeah, I brought in Notre Dame, right? I brought in Notre Dame and someone else into the ACC. It's been like a week since I recorded it. But I was trying to make the ACC a little tougher. So I brought in some more teams. So only a C plus still, but we do have play Notre Dame on our schedule in ACC play now. So that's another tough game near the end of our schedule. Okay, we're going to get into the season. Okay, so first we're going to look at our preseason polls, see where we're sitting. So we're coming in at five. We're two-time defending national champs. Haven't lost. We're on an over 28 game. We're in our 30 game win streak. I get maybe why Georgia, just because they are so good, but I don't know, man. I don't know. That seems interesting to me. Uh, I guess I should look at who kind of. So just uh, so A&M looks good. USC, Texas, Bama looks OK. Michigan's OK. Um, let's see. Is there anybody else in the ACC who has a big overall? Florida State, 95. We'll take a look at their roster. Notre Dame and 91. So I added Notre Dame, but they're not like incredible. So yeah, that's where we're sitting. Us in Georgia, though, I have a feeling Georgia's roster is going to be absolutely scary. So Andrew Luck is right in the middle of the Heisman, you know, front runners with Alabama. Mark Ingram at Michigan. See how many preseason All-Americans we got. Andrew Luck is number one. We got Tyron Smith. We got Marcel Darius, Patrick Peterson. So that's three pretty good first team All-Americans. David Carr, Mark Ingram. Uh, we got Carlos Dunlap at DN. So we got four All-Americans right now. I think people are underrating us a little bit here. Let's look at the championship contenders over the next few years. Somehow we're in fifth, but we're first in 24, first in 25, and then Georgia's first and we're second in, uh, oh, in 2026. Georgia's recruiting classes lately have been absolutely cracked. Cracked, cracked. So, yeah. Luckily, we did get the last two on them. We already went through our roster, so I just want to go through a few of these. So, Alabama looks really good. They got Trell Pryor and uh, a Andrew Luck. Good D tackle. LaMichael James. They're good. I, I don't think they'll be able to get out of the SEC with Georgia, though. Clemson has done absolutely nothing this sim. Florida State. Uh, Khalil Mack. 
TJ Williams looks decent at QB for them. They look okay. Devontae Freeman, but who's their wide receiver? I think they had... I don't know. They look okay, but yeah, Florida State, not great. Georgia, okay. So they're nine. They don't have a ton of 99s like me right now, but if you just look at their roster, they actually don't have a QB. Like they don't have one of the, the superstar QBs. If they get Jameis Winston, they'll be in a great spot. They just had Tim Tebow, so he's gone. Okay, they don't have a running back either. That's like super stud. Wide receivers, they got Tavon Austin and Keenan Allen, and Keenan Allen's only a sophomore. They also got Kelvin Benjamin. So they've been killing it wide receiver. They got Austin Safarian Jenkins. Um, Chance Warmack, Brandon Sheriff. So they can just start a few of those guys. Um, Central Henderson. Vic Beasley, only a sophomore. Daquan Bowers, a senior. Stephon Tewitt and Timmy Jernigan. Both freshman five-star D tackles. That's so sick. Um, nothing like good, but oh yeah, they got Luke Keekley, Alec Ogletree. They're recruiting. Uh, they got Bradley Roby at corner. Tyron Matthew, only a sophomore. Ha ha Clinton Dix behind him. Yeah. So that's what their team is looking like. Absolute studs. I think we're actually a better team this year, but, uh, yeah, we'll see going forward. So we're going to sim through this one. We got a 55, 13 win. So this is Cam Newton's only year as a starter. First year starting and uh, gets a nice big first win. Okay, week two, we got Memphis. Let's see another big like 50 pointer. That'd be nice, 59, 17. So the offense is humming right now. Our win st streak is still rocking. Recruiting, uh, we're okay. Not having those auto commits really hurts. Usually I get four, sometimes five, and it's just like, okay, five already locked in. Don't even have to worry about it. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, we got recruits ready for visits though. So I'm going to aim for more week 11, 12 recruiting visits this year. So it's either week 10 or 14. That's our home games. I I'm going to try earlier this year, go 10. Seems a little early, but... Okay, we got BC. We jumped up to the number two team in the country now. So let's keep these big win streaks, our big points going. Okay, so that's three straight games. We're hitting at least 55 points. Okay, we got Dookie. Are we going to go over? We're playing some pretty shitty teams. Let's see if we can go over 50 again. 56. Okay, I don't usually look at stats this soon, but I think recruiting is pissing me off. We're going to look at recruiting a little bit right here. Then I want to go look at some stats because our stats must be absolutely insane. I don't know if I can remember us off to that good of a start. Four games in a row. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, we just got locked up. Like, I'm just not doing well with some of these guys right now. Doing good with Amari, but it's still close. So we just got locked out by Humphreys. I'm going to open the door here, though. I'm going to go back to up to that 700. That should put us at least with him kind of in a range. Hind a &M, not really close on Leonard or Landon. It's Clayton we're falling behind. Lynch we're falling behind. Leonard Floyd we're killing it. Looks like we're going to get Leonard Floyd. Falling behind, falling behind, doing well, falling behind. I, like, I just don't even, I haven't had nobody even sign on the dotted line yet. Usually I'd be feeling better because I'd be like, well, I already got five recruits signed. I've got zero. Oh man, yeah, the recruiting. I've had, the, these are my recruiting rankings lately too. One, two, one, three, one, two, one, one, 23, two. So I've finished not in the top three only once. Bunch of ones. So, whew. This year is not it so far, though. So Cam's leading the country in passing. Bernie is fourth in receiving yards. Not even uh, Dez. So Cam, 219 rating. 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, one pick. Holy, Cam is on fire. Uh, Trent, when we're giving him the ball, he's playing well. Like We're having like three guys around 50 yards a game because Cam obviously is a running threat as well. Uh, receiving it's Dez and Kearney, the two senior 99s, just both really playing well. And then honestly, Oliver, too, our tight end as a sophomore is getting 80 a game. D Hop right here as well. Six touchdowns for Dez. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of check that out because we're scoring at such an insane rate. Like, what's our points per game? We're at 56 points per game through four. Okay, we got UNC 37 10. So we went down quite a bit there, like 19 points under our average. That kind of shows you where we were at points per game wise. We haven't took an annoying loss early in the year, which, oh, that always just sucks because it just kind of ruins the whole rest of the year. We still 
do not have a recruit signed in this class. We got Michigan State. Uh, should be a win. Who's uh Okay, we're going to watch some of the FSU game coming up here. I still... 52 to 20. Still don't think FSU has ever beaten us. We've never lost to FSU. I started in 01. We're in 2011. So we have taken it to them. Never lost. Against our biggest rival. Did end up losing last week. Okay, we got Devin, Bell, and Mark. Okay, so we got a few guys to commit. None of the big dudes. But at least our class is starting to have a little bit of shape. Okay, Heisman Watch Cam is in first. I think Locker won it last year too. So we could have back-to-back -back Heisman winners. Or maybe Locker won it two years ago. But either way, let's look at some stats too. So Cam's leading the country in passing. Herney's up there in receiving yards, tackles. So, Cam, 207 rating is crazy. 29 touchdowns, only one pick. Also, he's running for another, like, 50, 48 yards a game with four touchdowns. Crazy year for him. Richardson and Douglas are kind of just splitting carries, both playing well. We got Dez and Kearney, kind of just the number one, number two receiver, just killing it together. Both, like, almost identical stats. Dez has a lot more touchdowns. And Oliver and Hopkins... Our tight end and slot receiver are kind of just right near each other. Then we got Trent and Trent out of the backfield. Um, defensively, Wade. Um, tackles for loss. Dunlap has 19 tackles for loss. Three and a half sacks. Four ints. Two for Patrick Peterson. Eight pass deflections for Peterson. Uh, if we look at team stats. Total offense, we're second to Bama. They've played one more game than us, though. So we're really first. First in pass offense and USC's played another game than us. Look at us scoring. 51 points per game. Defensively, how are we? We're fourth in pass D, not as good in run D. And points per game, we're second to Charlotte, who's played one less game than us. So we're probably first in scoring defense, too, especially for people who are playing, you know, big power five football. So we are having a great year. Okay, we got Vaught Tech. Let's go. 45-17, let's keep this unbeaten record going. We're basically trying to do right now what Georgia was just trying to do before they lost to Alabama. Kind of. They actually lost a game in there because they lost to Alabama in an SEC championship. But we're trying to win three undefeated national championships, um, which Georgia wasn't even going to try to do because year one, they actually did lose a game. Okay, we got Notre Dame. So they're our new ACC team. They're struggling in ACC play, but we'll see if this comes back to bite me in the ass to uh, bring them in. If they beat us... On the road at Notre Dame, 55 to 16. We are blowing the brakes off teams. Just the absolute brakes. Oh, we lost that Joe Love guy. Okay, we got UVA. This should be a dub. 56 to 3. Like, I don't know if I've had a team finish above 55, which we might points per game. I don't know. That's a ton of points. Wonder what what's the NCAA record? LSU at 46. I definitely beat that before, but uh okay, so we got another commit, middle linebacker. Like none of the big guys have but that's just gonna be tough because there's there's a bunch of them. Leonard Williams we got in week 15. All the other guys we've already had our visits. I don't expect some crazy bits out of any of them, which is gonna make the offseason very difficult. Like some of these guys gotta commit to me because I'm just not gonna have the points to spend on these dudes in the off season. So like, we gotta get you boys squared away here. Okay, we got Pitt. I know we have some guys in for this week. This'll wrap up our regular season. So can't lose to Pitt. 42-21. We're number two in the country right now as well. Oh, hopefully Baylor and Michigan maybe lost. I'd love to play Georgia in the frickin' natty again. Try to beat them three in a row. Just boom, boom, boom. Why do you guys keep signing the Georgia over me? We got Jay Justice. Oh, Leonard Williams committed. Oh, Landon Collins. Leonard was going to visit us this week. This week. if I, As long as he didn't go there, we had a visit with him. We're going to play S FSU again. So just looking at recruiting. We have to sign 10 players. We're barely ahead on Amari. We're behind on... like, And we're, we're just so close with all these guys. I'm basically not going to spend on any of those guys. We're going to be we're going to lose this guy 100%. We might lock into him. So I'm basically going to have to just spend like 5,000 on each of these guys. Like I could lose both these two to George. I'm probably going to spend like 6,000, 4,000, 4,000. I'm like, "Why FSU?" Okay, let's see you actually as well top 25. Let's see how many unbeatens there are. Just us in Georgia. 
again we just got to beat fsu here go play georgia go in our third natty in a row taking down the dogs if they don't lose to bama oh i would love that we're first scoring first defense but the recruiting this year kind of killing me gonna make it hard on me to give like a freaking like 40 game win streak on the line national championship on the line cam's thrown three picks what are we gonna do here on third down throw it down to the tight end who's gonna be short but we're going for it we're going for it i ain't punting this ball fsu's defense has really you know bung bungled us up a little bit but uh yeah i mean we just got to get it done here on fourth down three picks for cam has really been the difference we got d hop on the little option route we got kearney on the back side here D hop as he breaks out throw that in right there you're not beating d you're not stopping d hop on his little option route there right yeah we gotta go down and score this no freaking turnovers okay there we go newton to oliver 25 yard touchdown we get a stop okay third and seven up eight we need to go make this a two score game in the fourth quarter even a field goal will do but obviously want a touchdown okay cam drops back they're bringing a blitz beats the blitz over the middle to trent richards and that was beautiful by cam he's thrown three picks but he's not been rattled at least he's stuck with it he's at 300 yards passing two touchdowns able to beat the blitz on third down and deliver a strike okay cam drops back bringing another blitz beats it to the tight end he's got some room there we go andrew oliver with the big catch out in the flats they tried to blitz Cam the last two plays, and Cam shredded them. No turnovers, and we're fine in this game. Florida State can't play with us. We just can't turn over the rock. Okay, bringing pressure again. Cam beats it with a little quick out to D-hop. Cam is playing great football right now, and we are keeping the hurry up going. Cam under center. Two by two look here. Hand it off to T-Rich. Get downhill, baby. And that's a first down. Okay, and we're just keeping the hurry up going. Don't always love this because I can't, you know, super sim or anything when it's hurry up. I just got to watch it. So no turnovers, no fumbles. We're going to hand it off to T-Rich again. And they actually get a big stuff there. Okay, so second and 12. And we score right there. D-hop touchdown. So that should do it unless they get a really quick score here. They do score. Onside recovered by Miami, and we're up nine. So, yeah, game's basically over. We got a third and 14 here, though. 241 left. It is a two score game with 238. I mean, okay, we got empty. Let's see if Cam can deliver a strike here and just kind of put a nail in this coffin. Drops it down. Okay, that's not great. I should be in field goal range, maybe, with that, though. We actually went for it and did not get it, but they fumble. That's going to do it. Touchdown, Trent Richardson. Okay, we win the ACC once again. There's the play of the game. Beating the blitz for Cam. That was nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now as long, if Georgia wins, this is going to be our third in a row against the Dogs. Cam, three picks, though, is just too much. Three touchdown. T. Rich had a nice game. Uh, Oliver Hop. Hop was definitely our best receiver today. 104 and two tutties. I cannot believe it's going to be us and the dogs again. We've already beat them two times. Let's go get a third. I hope they beat Bama. I want the dogs again. Give me Georgia. And let's just put this dog down. They couldn't beat us with Tebow two years in a row. I don't think they're beating us. I don't, who's their QB? Some 91 year old overall. I don't think you're beating Cam Newton with that guy. Let's see if Cam wins the Heisman right here. They usually announce it right here. So Cam, Heisman Trophy, 52 total touchdowns, close to 5,000 all-purpose yards, and we still got another game to play. ton of awards this year. Us and the dogs. Somehow, Georgia's still number one. We have a bunch of recruits who are going to be watching this game. Paxton Lynch and DJ's Humphreys were both you know, one and two. Let's see. We're just, we're a better team. Better O, better D. They do play in the better league, but... And on paper, we're better this year. They've had some really good recruiting classes, but we are still better. Woo! Three in a row versus the dogs. Let's go. We're on at least, if, yeah, if we go 14, at least 36 plus, like we're over 40 game win streak. Let's skim through the first quarter here. Okay, we got a third and four. We're going to watch some of this. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. First quarter, third and four in scoring position. Can kick a field goal, but we want seven here. Cam up over the top. Oh, was that D-hop? 
Great play. I think that's Tyran Matthew comes down with the stick. Oh, we go for it. I thought we were just going to take three. We hit a 30-yard touchdown to Trent Richardson instead. First and 10. We got to stop there. Okay, we got a third and six here. Let's go, Big D. Let's go. Third and six. They don't got Tebow. I ain't even worried about the dogs this year. They ain't got Tebow. And they go for a draw on third and six. Against the U? Nuh-uh. Stuffed. Give me the football. Let's go, Cam. Okay, we got another third and four in our, you know, area of the field. We need a big conversion right here. Okay, drops back. Plenty of time. Finds. Oh, another knockdown. I think that's Luke Keekley in the middle of their defense. Another knockdown on third down. We are going to punt the football now. Third and four. Oh, no, it's first and 10. We got a 15 yard penalty. They're deep into our territory now. They're going to be under center here. I don't think they have the playmakers on offense right now. They have some good receivers, Keenan Allen and stuff, but oh yeah, great stick. Safety came up and leveled him. Keith Jones. Good job, Keith. Okay, three yards. Okay, we got a third and six right here. What do you got, dogs? I'm not scared of their offense this year. So let's 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 shut these dudes down right now. Okay, drops back. Pressure. Oh, good play. That might be you no know, JV on Washington. Okay, so looks like they're going to you know, at least get three here. Maybe able to punch it. Uh, we got third and 13. Um, yeah, let's stuff them right here. No, let's hold them to three. No touchdowns. We bring our safety down in the box. We're going single high here. Motioning the tight end across the formation. Okay, drops back. Plenty of time. Okay, that's fine. Now, yeah, come up, make a tackle. We will take that, honestly. I'm totally cool with that. Hold them to three. Give Cam the football. Let's go make a play. 7-3. Cam. Cam to Oliver. Cam to Kurt. Oh, yeah. Cam's cooking now. Third and one from the nine-yard line. This this feels like T-Rich time for sure. For sure. A little power to the right. We're going toss. Don't like that play call. That is just risky. The toss. The toss is risky there. Ah, uh, I think I want to go for it, though. I just do not like the play call at all in a motion can we motion des you motion him yeah i guess i can't motion des ah, i don't like this play call okay we were out on the move with cam i got it square oh <gasps> how did we miss that put your hands out cam on the run oh no okay georgia football and we oh we they fumbled and then we hit D hop the next play for a 19 yard touch. And okay, 24, 13, 11 point lead. We will take that. So they're going to have the ball fourth and five. They punt it to us. Trent Richardson's for 17 cam to Dez for 36. They cannot hang with our offense cam to Lewis for 35 yards. We're going to blow these fools out. I don't think they have enough on offense this year to really keep up with us. They're going to get. I'll do another field goal. They're hitting field goals. We're hitting touchdowns right now. And that's been the difference. Okay, huge third and 12 right here. Just about at mi uh, midfield. I want to get aggressive here. Do not call a draw. Don't call anything stupid. They cannot stop our offense. They they can't keep up with our receivers or Cam's arm. arm so let it fly. Cam drills it in for the first down to D-Hop, baby. Let's go. D-Hop's at 102, two touchdowns. We're going hurry up. Cam's at 436 and four touchdowns in the first or in the third quarter. Ooh, Cam might get 600 in the natty. Okay, we're going to hand it off to T. Rich though. And he is a bowling ball. Put his face mask through your chest. He only has 2.6 yards per carry, but that was a nice carry. So it looks like George is kind of selling out to stop the run, and they are struggling to match it in the pass game. But we're going T-Rich again here. Oh, get off me. Get off me again, T-Rich. That is why I love this kind of T-Rich backfield with this kind of spread passing attack because he does bring that powerful downhill kind of smash mouth um, element to our really kind of finesse game. So K-Cam's going to drop back here, and he's going to tuck and run, run into his off. Okay, so that was not good. Okay, we're going to sim one play. We got a third and 17. Maybe field goal range here. I'd like to get at least another six, seven yards if we can't get the first down, obviously. No sacks, though. No sacks. Plenty of time. Going to go deep. That's a pick. Okay. So sacks are okay. Better than picks. Um, 
All of a sudden, Georgia has life. I think that was Tyran Matthew. Yeah, Tyran Matthew pick. They score a tutty here. We got third and 10. What do we got, D? We've held them to two of nine on third down. Um, this would be the time to get another stop. I don't think they have the QB to really pick us apart. Russian three, cake. Yep, come up. Guys, do not let that guy drag you. They might go for this now. Still the third quarter, so I think they'll punt it. They go for it and get 12. Okay, we got another third and nine. J maybe field goal range. Okay, we can't, like, even if we hold him a field goal, that's fine. We can't let him drag us to get it to close to fourth and one again. Okay, here we go. Third and nine. This is huge. Huge. Okay, drops back. We're bringing a safety blitz. Hit as he throws. And he completes it. Oh, what a throw. We should still be fine, but... Two-point conversion's good. It's a seven-point game. Wow, the dogs aren't going to die like that. Third and three. Hit as he throws it. Throws it 30 yards on a rope to the end zone with the safety coming downhill. We don't get the knockout. T. Rich, get downhill, though. Let's go. There we go, T. Rich. Okay, here we go again. I form. We're going a little power football here. Okay, drop back. Ooh, a little... I form draw. Not sure about the play call, but uh, there it is. Three yard rush. Okay, we got third and 10, up seven, 6.59 left. All of a sudden, we were in control. Cam throws a pick. They go down and score, get a two point conversion. What do you got? Quick out. Fourth and five. I ain't punting. I'm not punting. Go slants. Let's just try to find an open slant over the middle. I like Dez. Oh, yeah, we got Dez just struck that in school record receiving yards. Dez Bryant, 1383 beat De uh, Darius Hayward Bay from a few years ago. Okay, second, third and four again. We're not getting the big plays now. Huge play right here. We want a touchdown. We got trips to the top. Looks like Dez might, might have been open. He's going over the top. That could be picked. Bradley Roby in coverage. Cam, Cam, Cam. And it's telling us to go for it even now. We're going Y stick again. I like Smith here on our little option route. Got Smith right there and he's going to get the first down. Sorry, dogs. We're your worst night. Oh, no. Cam picked again in the red zone. Fourth and inches and they punt. We fumbled. What is going on? It is third and four. What what is happening? Three straight turnovers in the fourth quarter. We had this game totally in control, totally in lock. Come up, make a hit. Let's go. They're probably gonna have to take three here. That was Patrick Peterson. They're going for it. Fourth and seven. Let's go, defense. You're the number one defense in the country. Stop the dogs right here and prove it. Here we go. They're going QB draw. He throws a guy. That is a horrible play call, but we will take it. We come up with the stop. If we turn the ball over again, four straight drives, I'm going to be pissed. 10-yard penalty against the offense. Then we hit T Richardson for 27. One-yard rush, third and nine. Third and nine with 249 left. Ooh, what do we got here? Cam. Okay, drops back. Fires it. That's going to be just... Oh, we dropped it. I was going to go for that. I mean, you can't go for it on fourth and nine. I'm going to have to punt it. Punt. Two yards. Third and two. What do we got? Defense. Trips to the top of the screen. Okay. We're bringing a blitz right up the middle. Hit as he throws again and gets it out. What is this QB doing to me? Oh. You're killing me, Eric Hill. Ten yard penalty. Second and 15. Third and 15. If they pick this up. 148 left. Seven point game. Trying to win our third straight national championship. They're going draw. And they get freaking 12 yards. 120 yards for Vince Jacobs. It's fourth and three. They're going for this. Yep. Fourth and three. This is the game right here. If we stop them, it's basically over. We'll be in field goal range. Okay. They're going draw again. Kick out. We get upfield. What a horrible call. They're, they love their draws. They went QB draw on their last fourth down. So I don't know the play calling, but we will take it. Five yard rush. Third in inches here. They're down to one timeout. We can kick a field goal from here if we don't get it as well. So this should put a bow on it. Motion the guy down. Cam drops back. 
Fires a deep corner route. That is going to do it. That's going to put us at 531 passing yards. Unless we do something stupid and fumble or whatever. Three yard rush. One yard. Fourth and goal. Field goal is good. They're going to get the ball down 10. That is it. Three in a row. Three in a row, baby. Let's go. Woo. So that's our, four, our third in a row. At least our fourth. Could be our sixth, depending how you want to look at it. That is our sixth. One, one two, three, four, five, sixth undefeated regular, uh, undefeated 14 and 0 record. Could give us six natties. We've won four 100%. Put a bow on it. Ah, oh, wow. That's huge. Huge. And Cam, one year starter for Cam at the U. Got it done. Three fifty or 531, four touchdowns. We couldn't run the ball, but we threw the ball all over the yard. Dez and D-Hop. That's Dez's last game as well, but Dez and D-Hop absolutely killed it. There it is. Yes, sir. End of bowl season. So almost 5,000 passing yards for Cam. Dez most receptions in a season. Dez most receptions career. Receiving yards season. Dez recep receiving yards career. Receiving. So Dez has been the school's best receiver ever. Look at the final stats for the year and all Americans. So we know Cam won the Heisman. Cam, Dez, Tyron, Fluker, Hill on offense. And Phillips, Felder, Peterson, Jones on defense. Second team, just Johnson on offense. Darius on defense. Freshman, D-Hop, Blanchard, Brigham, and Brown. A lot of All-Americans. A lot of hardware for this team. Look at our stats. Cam led the country by 1,000 yards in passing. Dez, third leading receiver in the country. AJ is going to be taken over next year. T-Rich. Lose Dez and Kearney, our two number one options this year as well. So we are losing quite a bit next year. I don't know if we're going to be able to win another Natty next year. We lose uh, Dunlap and Barry on defense. Okay. Hey. There we go. Yeah, we're going to go through the offseason now here. So I'm going to go. That's who we're all in kind of a recruiting battle for. View our contract. So here's our record since I've been here. 146 and 7. 28 no versus our rivals. Never lost to Florida State. When I lose games, it's like upsets where it's like we just didn't show up. But look at our record. ACC champs every single year. I've never lost in a bowl. This was our one year. We didn't make the ACC. And then the next three, we won natties. See players leaving. or you're not leaving. These guys never leave. Like, I don't even worry about it because you literally just have to say, promise you'll get your degree. Okay. So who's actually leaving? Tyron Smith, Darius, Dunlop, Dez, Cam, Barry, Kearney, Hill, Douglas. And then some more. But that top level, like, I don't think we're going to be as good next year. I think those three years where our recruiting hasn't quite been as strong. So I, I, we're still going to be good. We're still going to have a chance, but it's, it, it hasn't been quite the same. Uh, we'll have to see. We're going to go look at training. We'll see how, where we're sitting, but okay. Recruiting. This is obviously going to be massive. How do I want to do this? I, I'm not getting out of here without Amari Cooper. It just sucks because we don't even have a big lead on any of the, these guys, even by like a thousand. So it's like, if I undersell on any of these guys, like who else is Florida State? Like they're like, oh, in-state five-star receiver, we're all in. I, I don't know why anyone would pick them over us. But I'm going 6,000 Amari. It is just going to kill our recruiting class. We we need another QB. If, if McCarron gets injured, we're freaking screwed. So we're going to go after Paxton, 4,000. Go after DJ, 4,000. I don't think we'll get all three we do it this way i think we'll probably end up getting two out of three it's like which one of these guys is georgia not going to spend on them and then the rest of these guys we just got to kind of hope and pray we, these two i'm not going to spend we should get both those even him it's like i kind of want this tight end so we'll just go a thousand jonathan cooper hopefully usc has their eyes set on some other guys and um we can sneak in there and get him that's really it not going to be a number one class not going to be our best class i doubt but uh, hey, give me Amari and one of the other two five-star guys and then whatever. Let the chips fall where they may. If we lose out on Amari, we get all three. Okay, we didn't get any of the other guys, but we got all three. We didn't have the number one class, but all of a sudden our class looks fine. 21 recruits. Um, Texas A&M beats us, not even Michigan. So whatever. Oh, we only got 19 recruits, but... Uh, 
that's a number two class. I'm just glad it wasn't Georgia, baby. So it's like, yes, we didn't totally restock our cupboard this year, but Georgia didn't come in with just some superstar class. They still had a good class, but like ours was better. Okay, let's look at all prospects. So Doriel Green Beckham went to Georgia. Shepard, Leonard Williams, we just lost out on him, went to Auburn. West Virginia, Marcus May, uh, South Carolina. Kenyon Drake went to Georgia. Um, Todd Gurley went to AM. They had the number one class. We get Paxton and Amari. Stanley, UCLA. Shaq, Fresno State. Eric Armstead, Georgia. Dante Fowler, Auburn. Buckner, Ohio State. Eddie Goldman, Decker, Collins. So yeah, I was kind of, I actually want to look at our class one more time, though, just because we got Paxton, Amari. We're only five stars in this athlete, but one of our three stars. That's the other thing. Leonard Floyd was our worst. He's he's a mid eighties player, plus DJ Humphrey. So we actually did okay. Like I better than I thought we were gonna do a hundred percent. Okay, we're gonna go to position changes now. This is always interesting. Uh, so we got four athletes. Need some DBs. So none of them are DBs. This guy's best position wide out. Um, can you go DB? Okay, yeah, so nothing else really major for position changes. Okay, so here we are at the start of the next season. We're just going to look at our roster really quick, and then I'm going to make the next recruiting class. So still have a good amount of 99s, maybe not quite as many as the years past. Uh, AJ McCarron, we're going to have him for two years as a starter. He's going to be really good for us, and we'll probably have Paxton Lynch for two years. So Paxton, that was a good pickup to get, 100%. Um, we got Brian Wood and Trent, and then we got some young guys coming up. Good fallback. Uh, D Hop, 99 sophomore. So he's just going to be our number one receiver for the next three years. Will Lewis and Horn, two seniors playing with them. Junior. And then we got young Amari Cooper, who's just, we'll redshirt him this year. And by next year, he'll be probably in our top three and then just kind of be in our number one spot. So all good at receiver. This Andrew Oliver is one of the best players in the country. We have a good backup. Decent sophomore here, so we got to get a new tight end. We got DJ Humphreys, who's actually going to start for us this year. We got a great guard in Fluker, good guard in behind him. We got Everson. Our O line is incredible this year, very good. Left tackle's our weakness, and he's a five star coming in. Damon Carey's going to be our best end. Leonard Floyd's actually going to start for us as a freshman. Cregan and Felder, and then we have a ton of D tackles. So. Um, left outside, we got two guys kind of fighting for this spot. We got Mosley and Moss. Mosley's obviously going to start. And then we got Johnson as a senior. And then Shazier will step in next year. Corner, we got Patrick Peterson. And we got two seniors. And then, oh my goodness, I need to get a corner this year. A good corner. Safety, we've recruited not like real guys, but we've got some good guys in. So that is what the roster is looking like, guys. Honestly, we're going to be right there for a natty once again. Okay, I'm going to make the recruiting class. All right, so here we are, guys. The start of the 2012 season, 2013 recruiting class. All done the recruiting class. We're going to hop right into it. This is honestly a very good class. This is one of the better classes we will have during the whole sim. We have three more recruiting classes we're going to make. There's going to be five more seasons in total. Usually, for these sims, the last two years of the sim, I don't make the recruiting class just because like those guys aren't actually gonna play enough for it to really be relevant to the sim so we have three more full custom recruiting classes though and five seasons okay starting off with qbs and we did just get one last year there are three in this class there's jared goff we're actually first so i'm gonna go after him just because we're first there's baker mayfield and then there is jt barrett and we're just gonna go after goff we're first i'm not gonna give him a ton of points but uh if we get him sweet really really good running back class there's derrick henry alvin kamara ezekiel elliott okay it's just those three but really really good three of the best running backs like of their generation so we're gonna go after henry he is from florida we're in fourth i might go after kamara we'll just kind of see where we get to with him maybe i'll go after these two guys as well nothing for fullbacks we get into wide outs there's only two wide receivers there's mike williams from South Carolina went to Clemson and then there's Laquan Treadwell went to Ole Miss and we're not on either of their lists right now. We'll go after we've we've been getting some good receivers lately. There's a bunch of four stars who were number one on. So even if we got one or two of those, we should be fine. OK, go to tight ends. There's only one and it is OJ Howard. He's from kind of our area, Alabama. I was really hoping we'd be on his list. Going to add him. Just why not? 
Uh, we also got a few, a good three star. We're in first. Not killing it with the tight ends right there. Okay, going to go to offensive line and there's only one. It's Laramie Tunsil. He's from Florida and we're not in his top. That doesn't make a ton of sense. We're still going to add him to our list along with those guys there. Um, then we'll go down to guards and centers, but we don't have any custom ones in this class. So guards, we got Will Lamar Howard. He's only a... Okay, no, he's a four star. That's where we're kind of stop there. We'll go down to centers. Not really high on any big time recruits here. Wow, we only have 15 spots for defense and athletes. So might have to whittle this down a little bit. Okay, we go defensive ends. We got, oh, and we are killing it. We have three defensive ends. There's TJ Watt, which somehow we're first, even though he's from Wisconsin. There's Carl Lawson, we're first, and Joey Bosa, we're first. So if I don't get at least one of those guys, I'm going to be pissed as hell. We're just going to go after those three. At least we should get one. Uh, if we go down to D tackle and there's two really good ones. There's Robert Kimdichi, who in real life was the number one player in the class, went to Ole Miss from the state of Georgia. We're going to go after him. There's also Chris Jones, a probable Hall of Famer playing for the Chiefs right now. There's this Anderson going to go after him as well. So we're probably going to stop there. Okay, outside linebackers. I don't think we have any on our board. Uh, and we have no custom ones. We'll just kind of not really going to grab any of those guys. We'll che check middle. Ruben Foster. I was really hoping we were on his list. Oh, man. Ruben Foster is the only one. And we are not on his list. Which Oh, no. There's Jalen Smith, too. Not on his list either, and he's freaking good. I might add both those. We kind of need some linebackers low-key. I'm going to just see if we can catch one of those guys. Cornerbacks, we are not on Ramsey's list, which I am pissed about. We honestly need some corners. There's four. There's Ramsey, Tredavious Wright, Vernon Hargraves, and he's from Florida. And the other one, oh, and Tredavious Wright, Vernon Hargraves, Ramsey. Oh, and I think I made Kendall Fuller. Out. Wow, okay, so we are not doing good with the corners here even though a lot of them are from the area that's weird okay go to safeties we got kendall fuller not on his list we're not on any of these safeties lists wow why are the dbs not wanting to come to the u uh if we go strong safeties we got von bell is the only custom one we're sixth on his list yeah we need some dbs so this honestly isn't great for us yeah i gotta go take some guys off offense because we kind of went overboard i think with oh so I'm going to add Von Bell just because he's really good. And then we're going to go down to athletes. We only have spot for two. So we're going to go after the two four, four stars who are number one. So that is where we're sitting right now. Um, looks like we'll be able to have a pretty good class. Hopefully we get some more auto commits here. Because last year it was kind of unfortunate because we didn't get any of those auto commits, which really kind of hurt our, our overall class. Okay, going to go over our red shirts here. Not going to red shirt any QBs. We'll do our running back here wide outs we're gonna do amari this year and we'll do this bell Let's do the sophomore ej humphreys is gonna start for us this year jacobs cool uh ends we'll do gilmore even though he's not very good outsides we'll go robinson richardson honestly i might do mosley we could do mosley this year start miller wade and johnson 390s might as well honestly and buy a year with mosley we really need some DBs, and I don't know why the, none of the DBs are wanting to come here, which I'm not liking, but I mean, we do have a really, really good team. Look at our schedule for this year, and we're a B, so a significant... Oh, that was the other team I added to our conference. It was Notre Dame and UCF, and we play them 2-3 this year. Bumps us up to a B. We are at Florida State. We have Georgia just booked. Oh my goodness. Our schedule is much more difficult this year. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, we're good. I don't know. We have went 14-0, 14-0, 14-0, undefeated, three straight national championships. I don't know if we got another one in us where we just don't lose a game. I'd be almost shocked this year. We'll have to see, but that would be crazy. I don't know. Georgia should be good this year, and we have to play them. We better be the freaking number one team. Preseason polls. Okay, we're at least number one this year. Last year, we were number five after back-to-back 14-0 -back -no seasons. Texas is an A. Michigan, Georgia's an A+. Plus, USC's an A+. Plus. Oh, so kind of a down year. 
Us, Georgia, and USC the only A pluses? Usually there's like five or six. I think it's honestly because us and Georgia are just getting all the freaking good recruiting classes. Okay, Heisman watch. I don't think we'll have anybody. Yeah, David Carr. That would kind of make sense. USC should be pretty loaded this year. Preseason All-Americans, David Carr. We got Fluker, Everson at center. That is it. Second team, we got Silva at right guard and our and at right tackle then we got a d tackle and felder and our strong safety so a lot of o-line for for our all americans we did lose a lot of like kind of big impact players last year okay we're gonna sim through the first week this should be a big big win right here start us off right 62 28 this is aj mccarron's first year as the starting quarterback as well so that should be interesting Okay, so we do have UCF this week. They're number eight in the country and 90 overall. So that is not going to be easy. If we're going to sim this one at UCF, okay, we get the win. I thought, you know what? Like, I'm not even going to be mad. Like, obviously, I want to win. But we've had four of our last five seasons completely undefeated. So, I, I mean, we just, we're going to lose a game eventually here. So I don't know when it's going to happen, but we'll see. Okay, we got a bunch of recruits ready for visits. So I'm going to set those up. Okay, week 12 is going to be my big visit week this year. I think Georgia might have lost. They just went down to number eight. I just don't think they have the QB this year. Okay, we're going to go up to seven. We're doing good with all our D linemen. Still in the lead with all our three big D linemen. It's us and SC for Henry. We're kind of falling out, out with Tunzel, but I'm going to keep going after him. I have some guys down here I'm going to offer scholarships to. Okay, we got an auto commit three-star center. Okay, and we got a QB, so I'll take that. Okay, so we got Notre Dame this week. Decent team this year. They're an 88 overall. They're actually worse than UCF, so we should get a dub, but it, you know, you never know. Like I said, an L could be coming. We win again, but an L could be coming at any game. We we just don't know at this point. Okay, game number four. We got the Depp Blue Devils and we got UNC. We got a win. 45-17. Our our offense isn't like last year we scored so many freaking points. Definitely not putting up the same numbers. I mean, McCarron's not Cam Newton. Cam Newton came in absolutely with the world on fire McCarron's gonna be a good two-year starter for us uh but I don't know if he'll be quite as dynamic and as explosive so I kind of want to take a quick look at our stats not the big big one but uh yeah okay McCarron's leading the country in passing so McCarron is off to a great 206 rating 20 touchdowns no picks uh receiving Oliver and Hopkins our tight end is killing it 85 a game we got three guys between 80 and 90 receiving yards a game. They're basically sucking up all the carry or the uh, reception. Mariota's third in the country in passing. Okay, we got UNC. Hey, UNC, let's get another dub. Then we got FSU. I'm probably going to sim until the Georgia game. Oh, that was a little closer. I'm nervous about FSU just because we've literally never lost to them. I've never lost to one of my rival schools. Uh, we're like 30 and 0 including fsu so we're at fsu they're in a down year we have we're on like a 50 game winning streak this feels like the type of game we could lose okay we just got locked i'm gonna go through recruiting here we just got locked out by tunsil but not the end of the world because we're not 2,000 points behind so now we can open the door and we're probably gonna jump up into number one or not number one, but number two. Yeah, we're going to be right behind a &M. So we got a chance with him. We got a chance with Ramsey. It's us or USC for Henry. We're right there for Bosa. We're right there for Kimdichi. We're right there for Watt. We're going to get Chris Jones, who I've barely even been trying to get, which is pretty sick. Kind of falling a little bit here. And then the rest of these guys were doing pretty good. They're all kind of more filler type players for now. But uh we have a chance to have a really nice recruiting class if we can get three or four of these dudes up at the top and then fill in fill in everywhere else. And here's our three recruits. We've got a four star and two three stars. Okay, Florida State, they, they're still a 91 overall. At FSU, we've never lost. I'm just nervous. I feel like we might lose this one. Oh, there we go. Still never. If I go this whole sim never losing to Florida State, that's like pretty sick. Yeah, and all our visits, I literally have them almost all scheduled for week 12. So <laughs> week 12 is going to be interesting. That's it's all going to kind of happen there uh, as far as what uh, 
what kind of recruiting oh we're still doing good with this bozeman i kind of need a tight end so then we're in the lead on a lot of these kind of lower level guys once we free up some points i definitely could okay we got a bye week we're number two in the country then we got toledo then georgia who all of a sudden's 15 we have georgia and georgia tech back-to-back -back weeks yeah, I'm just really hoping none of those big guys are big, like seven, eight guys there. No one commits before week 12. Because if I bring all those guys for in a visit, it's like a 50-50 shot if they commit. So as long as they don't commit before then, we don't lose any of those guys before. I mean, we're going to have a chance to have a nasty recruiting class and possibly the greatest. Okay, we lost a receiver. Yeah, possibly the greatest defensive line recruit. If, if it all works out, it will be the greatest defensive line class of all time okay so who'd we lose we lost four star a couple of four stars there i don't think i was going super hard at him we're, we're nervous with Jalen with those four teams he hasn't visited anybody yet so he's got tennessee this week then bama so if he doesn't commit to tennessee we got a chance to lock him up before he goes to auburn or georgia then same thing tunnel it's us a m bama okay so it's not as much and he's already visited a m so as long as he doesn't commit to Bama in week 11, we're okay. When's he visit USC? So we have him in before USC. So that's a huge advantage. These guys, who knows? I, like We are getting Chris Jones. These three, we're really close with all of them. I can't offer more points. So it's just like, when are they going to do their visits? Are they going to commit before? He's already visited Oregon. Nebraska is the week before us. So as long as he doesn't commit to Nebraska the week before he visits us. Okay, we got one and six Toledo, 49-20. Okay, we're going to have the dogs here. So we beat Georgia three years in a row in the natty. It looks like they're for sure not making it. We'll still watch this game. I'll sim through it pretty quick just because we haven't even hopped in any games yet either. Okay, so we got Chris Jones. No, but we lost Kimdichi. Okay, so our... All-time, all-time defensive line class took a bit of a hit there. Hopefully, we can get TJ and Joey. We can't do really anything else except with these five, except just be like, all right. But we did get Chris Jones, who's a huge get. Now, at least this frees us up to really go after some more guys. Like, we can really go after this center here and this safety, who we're really in battles with. Both those guys, we should be fine. Bozeman, we should be fine. We've got a big group of receivers. We're in the lead there. Would kind of like to go after this linebacker here. Maybe we could sneak sneak back in on this guy. Can't believe Georgia snaked Kim Dichi. Oh, the week before we play them, too, and we're about to break beat the brakes off them okay let's go beat georgia let's go beat the dogs okay we're gonna advance and we're gonna be at georgia tech kim dichi literally committed to them the week before that game that's crazy that is crazy i wanted that if we got chris jones kim dichi tj want joey bosa that would have been just hilarious the greatest that would be I mean, Kim Dichi was a bust, but in college, even just getting Chris Jones. Okay, so none of the big guys were. Yeah. Oh, and we got to commit. We got a right guard. Eight consecutive wins in the season. Kind of falling behind, but as long as he doesn't commit to Bama, I mean, he's not going to commit to Bama. Me, I'm kind of hoping Jalen just doesn't commit. We get him in the off season, and I can just offer him like all the freaking points. That's kind of where I'm at. Okay, Georgia Tech, 17 in the country. They're seven and one, 91 overall on the road this is a game we could easily lose easily lose 49 17 are we ever gonna lose a game again i'm just like at the start of this sim it felt like we would always just lose a game at the start of the year and it would just wreck the rest of it i would just feel like oh this season's just lost because we but hey we're keeping it going none of the big boys committed there we got vatek so this is the week this is when i have basically everyone in for a visit all the big boys i don't think we'll sign either tunsil or ramsey today we could easily sign henry oh we fell behind but, but bosa just visited nebraska we could easily sign tj watt today he already visited texas and then the rest who knows but i if we get two of those guys right now i will be stoked we play vaught at home they're in 86 we better not lose this one with all these guys here Let's go lay a beat down on them and get two or three of these huge recruits. 56-24. The boys all got to see that. They're partying it up. We're going to take them out on the town in on South Beach. And uh, we're going to show them a good time. And we're going to say, hey, come play at the U where we don't lose games for like 50 games in a row.
Okay, we got Henry and Watt. Okay, I, I wanted two. So that's huge. We got, and we got a defensive end and a wide receiver. So, oh, there we go. So that's huge. That opens up a bunch of recruiting points as well. So we're right there with Ramsey. We're right there with Tunsult. So even if we go, I'm, I'm hoping we can sign one. Of, but I think all of them were in it for a visit that week. Yeah. So they've all been for, for their visits. It's just kind of up in the air now. Same with Howard. Like all these guys, it's just kind of like, how's the... How's it going to crumble now? Where are we going to end this Bozeman? Let's give Bozeman a ton now. The only other thing I don't love is that we're going to end up going into, like we still have 14 scholarships to go give out. So I don't know if we're going to sign a bunch of these guys before like that off season, which I hate going in with like seven or eight spots because you, oh, I haven't looked at the top 25 anything. Let's actually look at that. So top 25, we're number one in the country. Us, Army, Kansas, Tulane, or San Diego State. There is a ton of unbeatens, and they are all pretty freaking shitty. So there is a chance we are about to get the easiest matchup in the natty if we make it there undefeated. No big Power 5 schools like that are super tough. Kansas is the only one like even in a Power 5 conference. Um, so we have a chance to get... Uh, I just can't lose a, sh uh, a game we shouldn't lose. So AJ is actually second in the Heisman. Look at season stats. AJ's leading the country in passing. We're over just full on spread passing attack. D hops fifth in the country in receiving 48 touchdowns. No picks for AJ McCarron. T rich and wood just in the backfield. Both 99s killing it for us. We got D hop. One of the best receivers in the country really pulled away as our number one option. He's only a sophomore. We had him for two more years after this. Um, so that's nice. Andrew Oliver is only a junior. So we're going to have him back. A lot of other guys are seniors, but that's fine. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, defensively, Johnson, Carey, Patrick. This is Peterson's last year. Tack, assist, tackles for loss, Russ Johnson. Killing it. Uh, QB sacks, Russ Johnson. Okay, so that's kind of where we're sitting there. Patrick's got 14 pass deflections. Cool. Okay, let's look at team stats. So we are the number one total offense, number one points per game. Defensively, yeah, we're not really as good of a defense this year at all. We're a bit more offensive heavy this year, but it looks like we have a chance to get some insane defensive recruits, which should really help. Okay. We're going to advance through UVA. I don't know if anybody's going to beat us again. It'll be a little anticlimactic, not like I, I don't want to put the cart before the horse, but if we don't end up playing George, like we're not going to play George, but if we don't play a really good team in the natty, it'll be, but we're trying to go 14-0, 14-0, 14-0. Okay, we got two more commits in, three more like that. None of the big dudes committed. We're finals for the Heisman. Okay, we can give some more points out here. Got to lock some of these dudes down. Oh, we're losing Nick Bozeman now. I want to lose him. So Jalen, we're falling behind. We fell behind Auburn. Okay, I really hope Jalen doesn't commit to Georgia this week. Uh, Tunsil's, oh my God. Georgia's got Tunsil and Ramsey in this week. I mean, I don't, yeah, he's, it's us or Nebraska here for Joey. He's already visited Nebraska, so I don't see why he would commit to them right now. Oh, this is so massive. We just got to get this win, and hopefully those two don't commit to freaking Georgia right now. Okay, 52 nothing win. Jalen and Laramie, do not go to Georgia. Come to the U. We destroy everybody. We just beat them four years in a row, including three national championships. Do not go to Georgia. Do not. Okay, they didn't go to Georgia. We got two other commits in. Okay, three other. Going to get through this week, conference championship. Obviously, we're going to be in that. Number one team in the country, 12-0 again. This was our hardest schedule in a while, too, having to play the dogs in the regular season. Okay, so no one committed. We got a couple of more smaller commits to recruit, or to commit. So we're going to have to play UCF again, who's not a bad team. We have, so this is what it's the recruiting. So we're 1,000, 1,200, 800. We got a lead. We're behind... We got a lead and we're tied. I think I just got to go like 5,000 each, all three, and just hope and pray that we get two. If we miss out on all of them, oh. But anyway, okay, we got UCF. Not a horrible team. They got a good offense. Oh, we got to get this done. So yeah, they're the seventh, seventh offense in the country. They're horrible defensively. 
We're not amazing defensively, but we're much better than them this year. They are now in the ACC. They're playing big boy football with us. Okay, we're going to go end a game here. Or not end a game. I'll, I'll stop. <sighs> okay, 7 nothing us. 14 nothing us. Okay, 20 nothing us. Ooh, UCF could not hang. Okay. Ooh, baby. We Okay, okay. They're, okay. They're making a bit of a comeback here. Okay, and we just punted the ball again. Okay, and then... T. Rich just went for a 60-yard touchdown rate when I was about to stop and watch some. They go down and score, though. I don't think they got... They don't got enough. We kind of took our foot off the gas there. Now, they're, their offense is decent, but their defense... Oh, we just turned the ball over. Okay, we're up 18. We'll watch one play here. Third and 12. Obviously, this one's over, but... Uh, third and eight. Third and 12. We're up 18. Fourth quarter ACC championship. Oh, they got a blitzer. Nice play by McCarron. Break a tackle. McCarron stays in there. Beats the blitz with his arm. AJ was a nice pickup. I remember. I wasn't even going to go after AJ. I'm like, ah, we need AJ McCarron. He's, uh, we'd be kind of screwed if we didn't have him. We'd be right where George is trying to band-aid something together. Instead, I got AJ McCarron coming in, throwing dots everywhere. He's not the running threat of, you know, or the dynamic athlete like Russell Locker and um, Cam Newton, which were my last three QBs, but he's just going to sit there, deliver strikes, put the football where it needs to be. And we're running speed option with him. We hit T. Rich, who stiff arms the dude into oblivion, stiff arms another dude. We just booked our ticket to our fourth straight national championship. Trying to go back to back to back to back without losing a game. I didn't even come close to that at my Alabama sim. What what did I do at my Alabama sim? I want to look. What was my best run? So if you guys didn't know, I did something very similar to this. The idea, I did it at Alabama. The, I called it basically the Nick Saban challenge there. So take over Alabama in 08. Um, and try to win as many national championships as you can and try to beat Saban. I ended up winning seven national championships. I went three years in a row where I went back to back to back. Oh, and then I lost in the SEC championship game. And then I went 14-0 the next year. So I went 14-0, 14-0, 14-0. So three in a row. Then I went 13-1, then 14-0. So I went four out of five. We're trying to go four for four. And then I went 13-1, 13-1, 11-2. I was like, what is going on? But anyway, okay, let's look at the stats. I'm pretty sure AJ just lit him on fire. 478, five touchdowns. T. Rich, 178, three touchdowns. Lewis had a really nice game. Hopkins was good. I was about to call him quiet. He had 89 yards and a touchdown. Not exactly quiet, but when Lewis does what he does, it feels a little quiet. Vance week, I don't really care who we play. I, I feel I feel like it's going to be an unbeaten team that is not great. Oh, AJ just misses out. And this guy, I don't, I don't know. He had a 2,000 yards rushing, but AJ just misses out on the Heisman. We won a bunch of other awards, though. Oh, we end up playing Penn State. So all those teams, so I was like, we're going to play one of these teams. They all ended up losing a game. So it was either Penn State or Tulane, and they lost to MTSU in overtime or we would have played them san diego state lost in their game as well or we could have played them so there it is so we end up playing penn state only a 90 overall they lost their, their one loss was to ohio state let's go look at their squad um so it is a bit more of a tough game than i would i, I was kind of expecting they're one of the better better programs in the country but the amount of talent we have in comparison is night and day um so this is our easiest one in a minute but uh, that's fine. Okay, so we got Penn State. Let's check it out. Let's go four in a row. Four in a row. So we're first on offense, 22nd. They're 21st on offense, 10th on defense. They're slightly better defensively. We are literally heaps better offensively. Neither of us really has a ton of injuries. One injury each. They got some good guys in the O-line and D-line. Sheree Floyd, Luke Jokel. But uh, this is a mismatch. It's in Hard Rock Stadium. So it's basically a home game for the national champion. Yep. We're trying to wrap up the greatest run in college football history right here. So let's sim through the first quarter. I have a feeling this might not be that close. Okay, 7-7. Seven, seven, end of first, third, and 16. So we're probably going to have to take a field goal here. Let's see if we can do something wild. We got a two-by-two kind of tight look here with AJ and shotgun. 
Yeah, we're just going to do a draw to T-Rich unless he makes something happen. Okay, we'll take our three there. Don't want to get too aggressive. Field goal is good. Get a stop. Ooh, we got third and 17 here. So Nittany Lions are doing a good job of, you know, getting some negative plays. Uh, I don't know if we'll get... Okay, we are going to get somewhat aggressive here. They got a blitz coming. AJ's able to fire that in over the middle, but they are... Um, they're able to get the tackle, get the stop. Now, okay, third and six. Let's see what AJ can do. Nine of 11 for 118, but we got to get some scoring, you know, only 10 points. We got a bunch to the top of the screen. Okay, straight drop. Plenty of time. He's going down. He fumbles. Okay, O lineman don't fumble. Okay, so fourth down. Penn State's defense is playing well. They're making some plays when they have to. I don't know if their offense can do enough, though. Third and four for. Okay, we got a big third and five here defensively. Let's see what our D can do. Three down linemen. We got three linebackers. Looks like we're probably going to be playing coverage here. We are only rushing three. He's got time. He's going to go deep over the top. That should be a pick. Oh, we got to squeeze that on the back end, boys. We need to squeeze that football. That is going to be a punt. Yep. They are getting negative plays. We're in third and 14 from our own 10 again. I don't know what's going on. They're getting you know, tackles for a loss. They're getting sacks. Penn State's defense is giving us work here. We're going to run with AJ McCarron. Okay, we need to punt that football away. Okay, third and six. Let's see what our D can do. They're going empty here. That seems a little risky. I'd like to bring some bring some heat. Nope, we're rushing three. They're going to do a little check down in the flats, and they are going to pick it up. Okay, 13, 25. They're about, yep, they go up here with a minute left, and our offense has not been... Not been good enough here, okay? But we're, we're starting to cook, and there it is. We hit Horn for a 38-yard touchdown with 16 seconds left going into the half. Okay, second half. Third, oh no, this first and 10. It said third and 10. So their QB's played well, 117. He's not made huge plays, but he's keeping a minute. You know, 17, 14. I don't, I think the over-under in this game was probably like, we're plus 12 point favorites probably. So they're, you know, hanging in there. Okay, drop back. We are bringing double A-gap pressure, and the guy goes out of bounds. We brought two linebackers in his grill. Like that. Third and K. Okay, here's third and 10. Yeah, Campbell's got 168, so must have updated. Um, yeah, okay, well, it looks like we're only rushing three again. I don't know. Yeah, rushing three, giving them time to throw, but we do get the tackle. Fourth and six, pun us that football. Okay, now our offense, it's time. It's time to stop messing around. Just kidding. It's third and 13. What is going on with this offense, boys? I like we're going empty here. We might be getting aggressive with AJ. Hey, AJ, make a play, buddy. Right there, hit the crosser. There we go. We needed that. That hopefully is the spark to get this offense going. Now we're going a little hurry up on them. Like McCarron has 220. It's just like we're getting into these long down and distances. They're doing a little orbit motion handoff here to Horn, I think. That's about maybe a yard. Okay, we're still going hurry up. Trips to the top, straight drop. They're bringing a blitz. We're able to beat it right there. Horn again along the sideline. Still going hurry up with AJ. Trips to the top. This little orbit motion with Horn again. Ooh, a little pop pass. Okay. Orbit motion pop pass with AJ McCarron. Our OC is cooking there. 244, no mistakes. Trips to the bottom. We're doing our orbit, a little motion, jet motion with the horn. Gonna go get three, four yards. Still going hurry up. Sometimes the computer gets very just loving the hurry up. No mistakes here, please. Stop with the motion with horn. He looks like he's gonna pass out on the field and he's gonna fumble one of these. Keep going to him. Okay, can we stop, please? Can we stop? It's third and six. Let's huddle up. Okay, I'm gonna sim here. AJ for 32. Okay, there's a touchdown. Okay, I'm going to sim a little bit more here. Okay, we got to stop in it. I mean, score there. Okay, so we got ball back. We got to stop. Field goal, no good. So we actually let them a little bit. No, there it is. Okay, so that's going to do it. We're up 38-14. So they actually went up 14-10 to 10, right before half, but uh, they didn't have enough this year. That does it, guys. Four in a row. Undefeated national championships. 14-0. Dub in Natty versus Penn State. So that gives us four, 
four nationals, five. So that gives us five undisputed national championships. Plus there was two where we were 14-0, didn't make the natty. But that gives us five undisputed, put a stamp on it, national titles. And we have, what do we have? We have three seasons left, four seasons left. AJ played well, 374 touchdowns. Rich was really good, 144. We're going to go from Trent Richardson to Derrick Henry. They talk about the power backs. That is sick. So there we go. There we go. And I think if we if we finish the job, we'll probably have the number one recruiting class again this year if we're able to get two of the three of Ramsey, Tunsil, and Osa. I I'm kind of like also like, oh, wow. I just got a trophy for four in a row. I have never got that trophy. Look at that trophy. Wow, four in a row. Four consecutive. Wonder if there's one for five. Well, there we go, four in a row. Okay, end of bull season here. Wow, longest win winning streak ever. 59 games we've won in a row. Okay, AJ, most passing touchdowns. AJ killed it. D-Hop, most passing or receiving yards in a season. AJ killed it for us this year. Almost 5,000 passing yards. E hop third in the country. Okay, let's look at our season stats. So McCarron, 59 touchdowns, one pick. That's freaking insane. Rushing Trent, 1,000 yards with how much we pass. That's totally fine. D hop, 1,400 yards. By far our number one receiver. And we have him for two more years. He'll probably beat every, if he doesn't get hurt, probably beat every record that we'll have. Leonard Floyd. 12 TFLs and three and a half sacks as a freshman. I'll take that. 17 pass deflections. Patrick Peterson is gone now. He ended with 13 picks, 46 pass deflections. Total offense, by far number one. Total you know, pat points per game, number one. But uh, defensively, we are not as good this year. Quite as good. We we're more of like a 30th. Yeah, we're like over like 120 points away from number one. So. Where we've had years where we're number one on both. Okay, I also want to look at, uh, we look at all Americans. I always like, like to look at this. AJ, D Hop, three on the O line, four on the O line, only one on defense. I feel like Peterson will probably be second team. T Rich, another O lineman. Leonard Floyd, second team All American, and our punter as a freshman. Uh, Humphreys as a freshman, Leonard Floyd, and Mays as a. So, honestly, before I even get into that, so. It's Bosa, Hunsell, and Peterson. But I'm wondering, I just got Humphreys last year. I'm wondering, is it worth just saying, at Tunsil, it was nice to know you, but I need Jalen Ramsey and Bosa? Because we need Ramsey. We really need Ramsey. So is it worth going, you know, 6,000 to to Ramsey so we're pretty like locked in we get him but then maybe not miss out on both Bosa and yeah or we just kind of go all in so here's what we are guys we're 160 and 7 won the ACC every year never lost a bowl game 30 and over versus our rivals yeah we're gonna sign the extension we got four more years in us get this done Okay, we have a center. You, you basically can never get the guys to stay, but if they're trying to leave early, they'll basically always stay, but transfers, they never do. So we got all those guys. Well, let's see who we're missing. So we lose Peterson, Wood, who's actually kind of a backup fluker. Three on the O-line. So, oh my God, this was not a ton. Our team is going to be insane next year. Holy, I can feel it. Like absolutely cracked. I think I gotta, I'm going to go like 7,000 for Ramsey and like 6,000 for Bosa and just say Tunsil, you can go to Georgia, be an idiot, go play for the dogs. I need Jalen Ramsey. We lose Peters and we don't have other corners. Bosa put him, Floyd and Chris Jones on the D line for the next few years. And I would have loved Tunsil, loved him. But if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. But that gives us what? Three, if we go 5,000 with Joey, go six. I don't want to lose these two. Then we have a lead there, so we're going to let it ride. I would really like Evan West and Bozeman. I'm just going to go to 1,000 for each and hope. Where do I go 2,000? Like, Tunsil's just not going to be enough. Even if I went 2,000, George is going to at least offer him 700 points. So I don't think we have a shot. So here... We have a good shot of winning that. Decent shot for those two. Gonna lose this Philip Green. Or do I? 
Yeah. Uh, decent shot with the center. And we should get both these two. If we lose both, if we lose either, I'm going to be freaking livid. Jalen and, and Joey, I want you both. And then I'm coming for Nick both in a year or two as well. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Jalen and Joey. And we didn't get anybody else, but whatever. Don't even care. Kind of surprised none of those other guys came to us. We lost Bozeman by a thousand, West by a thousand. Tunsil, I would have really had to spend on Tunsil. We got Joey by 2,000. We got Joe. Okay. So actually, if I would have offered five to each of them, I might have got all three, but whatever. It would have been close and it wasn't worth the risk. So there we go. I don't think we actually ended up with the number one class. Uh, we just didn't, yeah. We didn't get as many four stars. We got a lot of three stars. So Florida State actually edges us out, but I would take our class. We have star power. If you look at our class, yeah, we got some three stars. We got Jalen Ramsey, Derrick Henry, TJ Watt, Joey Bosa, and Chris Jones. I forgot we got TJ Watt. Maybe should have went for Tunsil instead of Bosa, but whatever. We just got TJ Watt, Chris Jones, and Joey Bosa on the D-line with Jalen Ramsey at corner. Yeah, I'm okay with that, guys. We got the number one player in the country. We got the number three player and the number five player in the country in one class. Kamara went to Tennessee, his actual place he went. Uh, Baker went to KU. Jared Goff went to USC. That's a nice get for them. Kendall Fuller went to Georgia. Mike Williams went to Georgia. Tunsil went to Georgia. Is Landry, did he not sign anywhere? Yes, this guy didn't sign anywhere somehow. Carl Lawson's ends up at South Carolina. Ruben Foster. Um, Vaughn Bell went to USC. Zeke went to Ohio State. His alma mater in real life. Laquan Treadwell and IU. So Georgia came out with some good players, though. Triv Davius White to Michigan. Jonathan Allen. Oh, that was the other DN that I forgot about. It. Jonathan Allen. He wasn't even written on my list. So he was the other really good DN. He's Bama guy. Chris Jones, we got. And no one even put up a fight for Chris Jones. We, no one even was offering him. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where the big dudes went. Who, where were the other? Who were all the other QBs? It was Make, Mayfield, Goff. And JT Barrett, okay. So there it is. Okay, nothing else too crazy for position changes. Okay, here we are at the start of the 2013 season. It's our fourth last season of the sim. Gonna go through our roster really quick here. Um, AJ, we got Paxton Lynch as the backup. So yeah, we're gonna be really good at QB. Trent Richardson with some young guys in behind him, including Freshman Derrick Henry, who we're going to redshirt this year, and he'll probably be the starter by next year. We got D Hop, Welsh, Cooper, Sing. Oh, yeah, Amari Cooper. So Amari's freshman. He's going to be our third receiver. D Hop is probably going to soak up a ton of work this year. Tight end, we're all over. We, we need a tight end. We I have not just locked any down. Humphreys, I, we really could have used uh, that O lineman. Why am I blanking? One we lost to Georgia. Uh, Tunsil. We're good on O-line, but we did lose a lot of talent on the O-line. Like, we got, yeah, we're good, but we're, we're not insane. So definitely going to, but our D-line in a year or two, like I'm going to redshirt TJ Watt this year. We got two juniors ahead of him. Other side, we got Joe. I'm, I'll probably redshirt, I don't know, Joey this year by a year because we don't really, like we got two other 87 overalls behind him. So yeah. We can just buy some years. We got Felder and this questioned guy. And then we got a ton of young guys, including Chris Jones, who I'm going to redshirt this year. Good linebacking core, including CJ Mosley. We got Ryan Shazier, Horner, Brown. Ramsey's going to be a start. We, we needed Ramsey so bad. Like, now we'll be fine. But if we wouldn't have got Ramsey... Um, then we got Butler, who's looking good. We got a nice sophomore in behind him. We have a nice strong safety here, but I definitely got to recruit some safety. So then we have a 97 kicker who's a senior and a 91 punter. So very good squad. Once again, guys, we are loaded. We're trying to make it five, 14 and no seasons in a row. Let's see if we can do it. Got to make the recruiting class now. All right. So here we go, boys. We are about to start the 2013 season. I've made the recruiting class. So we're just going to hop right into it. We're trying to go five in a row undefeated. Yeah, we are on an all time run right now. 
So this is a very good uh, recruiting class. Maybe the best class that we will have the whole time. There is just positions everywhere. Really good DBs. There's two incredible quarterbacks. There's Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. And we're actually second on Mahomes. We do have Paxton Lynch, but I mean, we're going to go for Mahomes. We're on his list absolute potential superstar i figured deshaun watson's from georgia i figured he would go there it'd be kind of cool if we got uh mahomes they get deshaun and we just kind of we go from there okay go down to running back there's four like all pro nfl running backs there's dalvin cook nick chubb leonard fournette and joe mixon we're actually only really on Chubb's radar and we just got Derrick Henry last year so I think I'm just gonna offer these two guys we're in first if we get auto commits from them sweet if not we'll just let it ride uh them wide receivers there's three there's Debo there's Terry McLaurin and Juju and we're not actually on any of their lists which I'm kind of surprised I might actually go after Debo just because he is from the south kind of kind of close to us otherwise we've got a few four stars there who were first we'll go after them as well uh, if we go down to tight end I don't oh yeah we have one created tight end it is Mark Andrews so not on his list it's from Arizona um, we'll also go after this Purcell guy. We kind of do need some tight ends. I've, I've struggled kind of locking them down. So we're going to go after a few here. Okay, getting into offensive linemen. We have three offensive tackles. We have Isaiah Wynn, who went to Georgia. We got Cam Robinson and Orlando Brown. And we are second and third for Cam and Orlando. So we're going to go after both those two. Um, plus King and probably just King actually there. Yeah, we'll call it there for offensive line. We're already at 12 on the board on offense. Then guards, there's one, and he is an absolute freak show superstar. And we're on his top five, so I will take that. We're going to go after Quentin Nelson 100%. Going to add this ward as well. Uh, here, another four-star, and this three-star we'll go after. So decent O-linemen that are uh, maybe wanting to come aboard. We have no created centers, so... We'll just kind of see if we're high. Uh, we'll maybe go after this four star. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Now, defense is a pretty, not great defensive line or linebackers, but the DBs are six. So there's one defensive end, Miles Garrett from Texas, looking like he wants to go to AM. He's a real life alum, alma mater, or possibly Texas. We just got such good D linemen last year that I'm not too worried about it um we'll go after these three four stars who were number one and we'll just let it ride from there uh d tackles we have no created guys so uh we'll go after these this three star maybe this four star here we have a ton of d tackles too we have a ton of d linemen so um outside linebackers we have no created we kind of need some linebacker Ooh. um yeah, no outsides where, I mean, this guy, we're kind of in the running. We'll go after him. We go to what, there's one middle linebacker. He's an all pro, probably the best linebacker in the NFL right now. We are not on his list though. Fred Warner, I might just add him and we'll kind of just see what happens. Maybe we'll be able to sneak on there. Uh, we got a four star who were second there and a four star were third go after those guys now we get into the secondary and there are some good ones we have four corners and three safeties so corners we got marlon humphrey who went to alabama adore jackson who went to usc Mar marshall Lattimore, who went to ohio state and jc jackson oh there's jc jackson he went to florida in real life we're first on his board so that's cool we're also kind of in the running for humphrey so we'll go after him we'll add this smith as well so that's good we kind of need some corners so I'll take that. Probably add this guy, maybe this guy. Okay, yeah, we're starting to fill up here. So I might have to drop some of those guys. Okay, if we go to safeties, we have one creative. No, we have two creative free safeties. There's Jabril Peppers and Buda Baker. We are not on either of their lists, which is a little disappointing. Uh, if we go to, that means we have one strong safety. It's going to be Jamal Adams. I would have loved to be on his list. We are not. I might add him though. I'll go after those two. Okay, so our board is full and we still have all the athletes. Okay, we only really need to open up two spots for the athletes. We're going to go after this four star and five star. So I'm going to just drop two people and then we'll add those guys. Okay, we got two open spots. So I'm going to add... Uh, these two athletes and that's our 35 so pretty good class definitely have a chance to have a good one we went all the way down to a c 
for our strength of schedule. So we have a bit of a cakewalk this year. We got like Georgia Tech, I guess UCF early as well. I mean, I could book us something. I could book us something week one. We could play Michigan. Let's do it. We'll take on Michigan. Wolverines, you're coming to the U to take on the number one team in the country, my guys. Let's go. There, start our season. Okay, we're going to look through the top 25, do all our stuff kind of once we first get in here. Preseason polls. We're the number one team in the country on a 59-game winning streak. George is number two. Yeah, they did actually kind of have a down year last year, but uh, they're the number two team. We are A+. Plus. Michigan's A+, plus who we play. Ohio State is A+. Plus. USC is A+. Plus. That is it. Almost feels like, oh, Texas as well. It feels like us in Georgia. We're kind of just sucking the life out of, out of recruiting right now. And we're just kind of getting all the big guys. Like, we're not getting every player, obviously. But the other teams aren't getting enough of the really good players. We have the number one and three Heisman favorites right now. AJ McCarron, Trent Richardson. So, I mean, I think we're about to have a really good year once again. Look at all our first team All Americans our QB, running back, wide receiver, tight end, and three. Oh, yeah, T Rich is a senior. So, three of them are seniors. We got Henderson on the O line as well. Uh, nothing on defense. Okay. Aaron, Don Aaron Donald at Michigan. What's his stats been like? He put up five and a half sacks last year. Uh, if we go second team, we got nothing. So we're all first teams. We got UCF next week too. So back to back, pretty highly ranked teams. As long as UCF doesn't lose. UCF did lose. So now they're unranked. Okay. Going to sim through UCF here. And we got a, oof, they put 40 on our defense. We throw, I like, I like seeing 63 on the offense, but 40 is a little rich for my blood. Okay, we got FAU, 48-24. So our defense has been kind of not great so far. Okay, we got Notre Dame. So we actually started with a decently tough schedule, like especially once we include Michigan, but then it starts to get pretty light till the end. So more ranked teams than I, than I would have thought. We got to beat Notre Dame. They have a ton of talent. This is not going to be just an easy walkover win. We do win though, 50 to 29. Okay, so going kind of through recruiting here, we're definitely not in the lead with Debo. He feels like one of the guys we gonna kind of got to hope he maybe lasts till the off season, we can lock him down. Mahomes, it's either us, SC or Nebraska. Humphrey, it's us, Georgia, Bama, Ohio State, and then even Penn State is in there. We have a bit of an earlier visit than I love, but we did get a visit with him. JC Jackson looks like we should be able to lock him down. Orlando Brown and Cam Robinson. Georgia's ahead on both. Plus, Georgia got Quentin Nelson. We got to steal one of those two from Georgia. Uh, we got this tight end. I, I kind of got to give him more points, but I don't really know where to steal him from. Same with this athlete and same with this D end. But then these guys were all doing pretty well. I actually guess I could steal a bit from these guys we are doing better with um especially i, I kind of want this athlete big five-star athlete let's go higher to him and to this tight end i'd like to get both those guys so we're, i think we're doing good on recruiting i have a bunch of guys who i'm not really offering points to but we're still in the lead on a bunch of them as well so okay we got unc at unc and we get it done we get it done. I don't know. I feel like we're going to lose one this year. I just thought there's no way we can go five straight undefeated seasons. Okay, we got Memphis. We dropped down to the number two team in the country, but uh, I don't really have a tough game for a while here. Memphis 56-14 puts us up to 6-0. and oh. We're on like a 65 game winning streak. Okay, recruiting. We got locked out by Cam Robinson, but... We're going to open the door with him. Honestly, is these these can honestly be a huge help. Now all of a sudden we'll drop, jump right back into the mix there. So that's fine. I almost need to get locked out of Debo or something as well. Those other ones and Orlando were right there. It's tough. We're falling behind with this tight end who I really kind of want. Oh, also this Todd Norwood. Is he worth a, he worth one? It's a little risky because I don't want to run out, but f screw it. We'll go for it. Basically, all my visits I have lined up for week 12. There's a few that I didn't, but uh, for the most part, it's week 12 is going to be our huge visit week. Okay, bye week. <laughs> go through and then we got Duke. Okay, well, we got to beat Duke. Oh, let's see. 49-10. It's going to put us at 7-0. We got FSU, who we've never lost to. 
never lost to never lost to a rival we're 30 no or might even be more now i can't even don't even know who all our rivals are except florida state but never lost to florida state so we did not get marlon humphrey when he came in for a visit but doesn't mean we can't get him still okay we got fsu they're five and two they're 90 overall they're unranked somehow but if they knock us off our unbeaten streak of like 60 some games oh my god we blow them out blow the doors off them that's gonna put us at eight no oh cam robinson committed to georgia georgia stole two of the freaking offensive linemen we're in the lead on orlando now though because he just came in for a visit lead on jc lead on marlin not the lead on mahomes but we have him in for a visit this week Falling behind a bit on Debo, but we have him in for a visit. Oh, okay, we're doing well with this guy. We're falling a bit behind with him. Doing well, doing really well. Scott Norwood, I'm not going to try to lock pick you again, my guy. We'll let you go. We're killing it with this guy. Okay, we have some scholarships I think we can offer down here too. Some guys. Georgia, I think, is going to have a crazy class. Okay, we got... You know, good team here, UVA. But actually, let's look at uh, top 25 and stuff. So, so not UVA, Vautech. So, Bama undefeated. Georgia is not undefeated. USC and UCLA are going to play. have to play each other. Bama is going to have to play Georgia and the SEC championship game at the very least. So, there's a good chance they do not remain undefeated. As long as, you know, some other teams lose, we'll be fine. So, we're not no Heisman. I mean, that's fine, though. Blake Bortles is up there. Let's look at some stats. AJ leading the country in passing. Blake Bortles is second. There's Trent. Wow, this guy has 1,700 rushing yards already. D Hop third in the country, right behind Devonte Adams at SC. Nothing really on defense. We never really get crazy defensive stuff. AJ McCarron has a 231 QB rating. I've never even seen that. 40 touchdowns, one pick. 340 a game, 77% completion percentage. Trent, we don't use him a ton, but he's just our battering ram, do it all. AJ does not run, which is fine. We don't need him to run. Just sit that back there and sling it. And D Hop is by far our number one target. Welsh and Oliver do some work. Trent and then Cooper's having a nice year for a freshman. Nine touchdowns, 19 yards per reception, 50 a game as a freshman. We're going to have him and D-Hop next year as our one and two receivers just absolutely terrorizing people. We go defense. Ryan Shazier, only a sophomore, starting to play a lot. TFL's Felder on the inside, absolute beast. Uh, three and a half sacks for him and Maurice Gray as well. Butler, Zach Moss, there's all our INT numbers. Pass deflections. How's Jalen doing? Has Jalen done much? 15 tackles two pass deflections so not huge impact so far for Jalen team stats I don't think our defensive numbers are going to be great total offense we're actually fifth we might have played less yeah most of these teams have played nine games but still P points per game though we are first in the country we've been first in the country for a long time points yeah this is like the second year in a row where our D hasn't been quite as good like there's been lots of years where we're where we're 1-1 one, one points per game and points allowed. Okay, Vaught Tech, let's get it done. 52 to 7. And then we got Georgia Tech, which is our big visit week. This is where we have so many guys in for visits. We got to get at least four, five, six guys locked down. Big guys, too, hopefully. I think we had one of the big guys in for a visit against Vaught Tech, but it's week 12, Georgia Tech. This is the big one recruit locked us out debo but we're that could actually work in our favor i was kind of hoping debo would lock us out because now we can use a lock pick he's in for a visit literally this week open the door we are gonna shoot we might be first now second for sure yeah we're right behind clemson now have him in for a visit with all these other dudes, we might be able to get, we might be able to lock them down right here. Who knows? So we'll see that. Uh, did someone else commit somewhere? Adam Stokes committed. Okay, get the win against Tech, who's, they were ranked earlier in the year. They're only in 84, but get the win and then let's get some of these guys locked in right here. 52 21. I like it. Come on, give me some of these recruits. I want at least two of those big ones. Give me, 
Give me, I think that one of the corners, the JC Jackson, and give me Mahomes right now. JC and Mahomes. Let's go. Come on. Sign it. The U. We haven't lost in like 63 games or something. We don't get any of the big guys. We do get a good group. Oh, we got JC Jackson. And we get a ton of just kind of smaller guys. Yeah, we can only offer seven more scholarships. So we got lead on Debo, lead on Mahomes, right there on Marlin. Uh, and then there with Orlando. Those are kind of the big guys we're going after. Then a lot of these other dudes are kind of filler type guys. I kind of want this tight end in case we lose the other tight end. The rest of these guys, I mean, they're all kind of just like decent, not incredible. So it's like, I wish I could just offer all our points to these guys. This is all I care about. We got to get at least two of those four um, for me to feel really happy with how things went. Okay, UVA, let's get it done. 56 to three, we are not losing. We don't lose. We don't lose at the, we don't lose at the U. Do not lose. Just recruiting battle with all these schools. Okay, advance, we got Pitt, last game of the year. Don't lose, 48, 17. We don't lose, we don't lose. I might have to just add more tough games next year. Like you guys see me, I had Michigan. I gave us the five, fifth ranked team in the country week one. Didn't even give us a warm up. Okay, we got three other commits, kind of lower level guys. I want to make sure we still got four scholarships remaining. I don't like any of these. Yeah, South Carolina jumped us. SC jumped us. Ugh. So we're going to go in literally losing on all. So I'm basically going to have to go all in. And we're going to be losing on this guy. That's kind of the worst case scenario. Ah. Uh, Okay, advance. Like maybe one of honestly, I almost hope one of them commits just so it like frees it up a little bit. But that's basically the five guys I want. Play FSU again. And we're losing with all of them. Except this guy by 70 points. I really kind of want him. I think we almost just gotta pick three and go for it. And I don't think it'll be Marlon Humphrey just because we got Jalen last year and I just got JC Jackson. I feel like it's got to be Debo Mahomes in Orlando. I really do need a tight end, but uh, we did get a three star tight end. Got JC. We got a lot of guys, but like JC was the only like created player. Real dude so far. We do have the number one class. I thought, oh, Georgia has, look at Georgia's top end player. So Look at their O-line. Quentin Nelson, Cam Robinson, Isaiah Wynn, Adoree Jansen, J uh, Jackson, Nick Chubb. Did they get Deshaun? Or like, are they going to get Deshaun? I kind of hope so, honestly. Sean looking like Auburn or Georgia. I kind of hope he goes to Georgia. Just to make it a little more, you know, Georgia's got freaking Deshaun Watson, all those guys. Okay. We got FSU. We've only watched one game so far. So, we'll, or did we watch two? Oh, we watched the other. No, yeah, we just watched Michigan, right? So, we're the number one offense in the country. Defense rebounded a bit. We jumped all the way up to fifth in points per game. So, I do like that. D Hop, CJ. They got Devontae Freeman's kind of the engine of their offense. We are down. DJ Humphreys. Okay, so a few injuries, but nothing major. Okay, let's sim through the first quarter. Jump out 7 0. Jump out 14 0. They answer back. Keep. Oh, we got a third. Let's watch. We got third and seven. See if the boys can get it done. I'm going to D hop here. I'm finding D hop. I'm letting him do work. I want our main man to get the ball here. We are going to go to D hop. Yeah, that's what I would have done. Good job. That's why we win at the U. That is why we don't lose. Is even crazier. Oh, we're going to be on like a 70 game win streak here. We might be. I think we're at 59 going into the year. Which is just insane. They're bringing passion pressure. AJ just sits in there and fires a laser beam into DeAndre Hopkins. Okay, AJ McCarron. Absolute laser beam. Okay, going to hand it off to T-Rich. Going to get to the outside, get tackled. Staying in hurry up. Second and nine here. Fake handoff. Going to go over the top to Amari. Kind of gets pushed out. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's super sim bit here. Oh, fourth and three. Field goal and we missed it. Oh, geez. Oh, we get it back on offense. And fourth and five. Okay, I'm going to go to the end of the quarter. Okay, 21-7. There we go. Okay, so nice lead here. Let's go to the fourth. 28-7, yeah. 35-7. Sorry, Florida State. Not meant to be. We've beat you so many times. 
it's like 12 years in a row plus we probably played them in three or four acc championships t rich had a day 196 and 34 receiving yards as well who in their right mind at this point would fit pick florida state over miami it blows my mind when recruit we lose recruits to them what would be going through your skull where you're like you know what i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to state over the u at this point aj honestly a down game for him only two touchdowns and a pick 177 rating key rich 196 receiving not even anyone over 100 we were just putting it giving everyone some love so not even one of our most explosive games just kind of come in you know just put our feet up get the job done that's it that's all let's actually go look at the top 25 here and just kind of see what the other matchups are like on who we might play the so usc is still undefeated they play washington if they win we face them i would actually love that matchup that'd be cool georgia lost two games this year they lost to uk florida but and uk florida probably if uh they play bama this week if usc loses and they beat bama they're in they'll be in for sure and they have blake bortles at quarterback pretty good so yeah let's see i have a feeling it'll be uh usc but if not i'm expecting florida all right so we finished third in heisman voting but it was very close we had 920 campbell had 955 won a bunch of awards again obviously we do and we're actually ranked behind sc even though we're on like a 70 game win streak but that is fine uh let's we're not gonna look at their whole roster but we'll look really quick um i think once again though they just don't have the qb right now they got golf as a backup who give them a year or two will be really good Devonte and melvin gordon like i'm sure Devonte, yeah oh Devonte had a bit more of a down year this year i guess they didn't have the qb play ferris was it good for them 167 rating but i'm sure melvin was really good as well yeah thousand yards had 470 receiving yards as well so they're a good team um we're we're the favorite we're gonna be the favorite george is really talent for talent the only team who can even really play with us sc oh i almost just simmed that sc uh probably right right there with them though or like right under us too i'd say we're number one georgia probably usc talent wise year year over year first on offense first yards first pass fourth on defense um they're 20 uh 13th on defense and 12th on offense so good team some superstars with Devonte and melvin and it is raining here we go we're gonna go through the first quarter here we jump out to a seven nothing lead they answer right back 14 7 they don't answer back and it is third and 13 here let's see if we can convert we got we're three for three on third downs um aj we're going empty here we got uh cooper and deandre hopkins at the top of the screen gonna fire it out to amari but we're well short of the first down don't really love that throw there amari's had a good start though already 64 yards okay let's go next change of possession melvin melvin third and four let's see defense they're about probably out of field goal range uh yeah this would be a huge stop huge stop let's see what they got qb drops back to a little tunnel screen i think that was to Devonte, and we get a huge tackle there that was massive oh they end up going for it though here it is third and one from the one yard line or not one yard line five yard line they're two by two here and i think that's melvin gordon in the backfield with them they're gonna fake it to gordon go over the middle and they get a touchdown wow sc big drive there ferris is having a nice day 140 and two touchdowns damn okay okay let's go to the let's go to halftime here aj gets stopped and they drive down and score and they stop us and drive down and score again they get back to back touchdowns right there and they get the ball this is third and six our defense needs a stop here we need to stop the bleeding they just got back-to-back -back touchdown drives at the end of the half. We're bringing a bit of pressure. He escapes. He's lofting it up. We need that pick. Jalen. Jalen Ramsey. Jalen, you need to squeeze that. Oh, Jalen. I mean, as long as they punt. But Jalen, good at a, as a true freshman, an interception in the natty. They do punt it, so I guess it didn't really change. But that would have been sweet. Third and two, we get the first 
third and 11 for the U. Guys, we are trying to win our fifth straight undefeated national championship. AJ McCarron drops back, gets hit as he throws, and SC came to play, and they're about to get the ball back. Punts, Melvin. Okay, we got third and 15. This needs to be a stop. You cannot give this up. The defense had a nice third down stop last drive, but this needs to be a stop. You cannot give up a third and 15. Only rushing three. Got someone wide open in our hole of our defense. 300 passing yards already. And Miami, we are on the brink right now. Five yard, first and 10, second and six, first and goal, and they score. Okay, it is now or never. We need an answer. Second, third and two, first and 10, second and 10, first and 10, second and three, first and 10, second and seven, AJ to Amari for 21. Okay, we stopped the bleed. I mean, now the D, D needs to make a play. We need a, we need a stop. We need a turnover. Second and 13, third and nine. We need a stop. Joel Ferris has sat in the pocket and delivered strikes on our defense. Our eight of 12 on third downs. Let's go D. A little comeback. This Greg Riley, every time we flip it on, he is making a big play. Whew, it is not looking good. Devontae, third and inches, set first down. Yeah, that might do it right here. That is pretty much going to do it. We're down three scores with seven minutes left. AJ, second and 10, first and 10. Our, our offense, there we go. We get... we. We drive and we score, but our offense just stalled in this in kind of those middle quarters there. Second and third quarter, too much. First and ten, and our D hasn't been able to get off the field. Okay, we got a third and ten. If we stop them here, there is an outside chance, a very slim chance. But they're 10 of 14 on third down. They are not missing. This Ferris has absolutely shredded us. We're not getting pressure. That could have been a pick. 429 but the cl the clock is clicking the clock is ticking um okay they're gonna punt it to us get first and 10 okay trent why are we running the ball incomplete okay we got a third down right here ferris has 400 yards and five touchdowns passing on us 311 yet left we're down 14 aj oh big play go amari go amari go amari oh that's huge i mean it's still not but we got a shot amari has had a coming out party 153 two touchdowns in the national championship as a freshman him and d hop next year are going to be incredible okay deep drop for aj he's going to throw that away 306 for aj he just hasn't been quite himself today okay third and 10 eight we're eight of 12 on third down i just don't know what happened in those middle quarters we got trips to the top we got uh omari kind of in the slot there aj going deep in the end zone wide open he was wide open. He overthrew him. Oh, 245 left. We still have three timeouts. If we can punch it in here with still two minutes, you know, minute and a half left, we have a shot. Mm, can't do that, though. Can't do that. We need a bit. We need someone to bust open. We need a bust by USC. We're spiking it. Oh, God. The clock management in this game can be. We got 40 seconds. 40 seconds to get it done aj a 70 game win streak trying to go five straight national championships down 21 in the fourth quarter what do we got they're rushing three we're going over the top we got a man oh my gosh he was that close from breaking it but we got it for 44 yards Eric Welsh, and we got 30 seconds to punch this now. Ah, oh, we don't need that. We don't need to clock it there. You could have went for. You don't need a clock there, but 33 seconds. We, ha if that was Amari, he probably was gone. I don't know what Welsh's speed is like. Oh my goodness! And we win it here. I just realized that an extra point wins it. Holy, KAJ. Oh, pick. Oh, my God. He dropped it. Oh, my. I thought that was a pick. AJ playing with fire, my guy. Third and 10. What do we got? 
This would be the greatest comeback of all time. Down 21 with seven minutes left in the national championship. AJ, check it down. We need a first down there, Amari. First down that stops the clock. Amari has been incredible. We don't need to clock this. It's fine, I guess, but we really don't need to. Why are you going freaking hard count there? Lost like two seconds. Oh my. This is insane. Everything is on the line right here for the win, AJ. 18 seconds. Drops back plenty of time. Going to the end zone. Touchdown. DeAndre. DeAndre Hopkins. Oh my God. DeAndre Hopkins in the back of the end zone. For what? We were down 21 in the fourth quarter with seven minutes left. And we are an extra point away from winning this. It's up. It's good. There is 14 seconds left. They do have three timeouts. Oh my. I cannot believe we just had that comeback. It's insane. Three scores in the fourth quarter. A 44-yard moon ball to Welsh. Finds DeAndre Hopkins in the back of the end zone. And we are up one with 14 seconds left. They do have three timeouts. They hit two 30-yard plays right here. You know... They can kick a field goal to win it. So it isn't completely over. We like that. And it's kind of, yeah, they still have nine seconds. This guy's shredded us. 442, five passing touchdown. Shazier gets the tackle. They're about 30-ish yards away from, first, uh, from a field goal. So it ain't over. It ain't over. We need a play. I like that. Except the guy fought for, ooh, this. They're almost in the spot. So they need about a. 15 yard play get down with a second left and be able to get you know call a timeout put your field goal on so i don't think they can do that three two one that's it that's it yeah that's it oh baby unless they hit a freaking hail mary which i have some had i lost an sec championship game as alabama on a hail mary um so you never know but they're going deep they caught it. They caught it. We had one guy there. They had four. Devontae Adams. But we do it. Oh my goodness. 14 and 0. Fifth straight year. Down three scores. That is insane. That is our sixth and undisputed national championship, fifth in a row. I don't even know what to say. That is the craziest ending out of any sim I have made. I've had some crazy ones. That was next level. Look at the catch DeAndre Hopkins made in the back of the end zone. Devontae Adams hits a Hail Mary, but they're down at the five yard line. That, I'm sorry, that's the best game score. That should be the best game score. That. That was insane. 42-41. AJ in his final game. Two-year starter. Never lost a game. Back-to-back -back national championships. Trent Richardson last game. 112. Amari had the coming out party of the ages. 163. Two touchdowns in the national championship as a freshman. We're going to have him and D-Hop next year. Oh my goodness. That was bonkers. Ladies and gentlemen, bonkers. We actually did out yardage and there was no turnovers. Is there a five straight trophy? There's a four straight. There isn't a five straight trophy. They just don't even think anyone can do it. But we just did it. And I don't even know what to say about it. 09, 10, 11, 12, 13, baby. Put it on the freaking board. Now we go lock up Debo, um, Patrick Mahomes, and and uh cam robinson 73 games in a row in a row trent richardson passes ray rice for most rushing yards in school history so trent richardson right now is the best running back we've ever had 
AJ McCarron beats his own record last year with 60 total touchdowns. D Hop beats Dez's record. Wow. So AJ well led the country in passing by a ton. This Roberts had 2,300 rushing yards. Wow. White had 1,900 receiving yards. D Hop was second in the country, though. I knew D Hop would have a huge year. 214 for AJ. His two years as a starter 4,800 and 4,500 yards, 59 and 60 touchdowns. He threw three picks three picks jeez paxton lynch some has some huge shoes to fill next year uh 1190 for for t rich he's gone next year but you know really good career for us actually i think he was a three-year starter yeah almost oh he started four years for us started as a true freshman basically and we we're a pass heavy offense basically ran for a thousand yards each season so yeah, he had a career. We got D Hop still next year. He's got back to back 1400 yard seasons. Cooper was incredible as a freshman, second leading receiver. We do lose Andrew Oliver, and I don't have a ton of great other tight ends. That's could be, oh, and let's look at defense quick. That could be kind of our one ooh, for next year. Shazier, Moss, Felder, Leonard Floyd. Uh, Felder was just a beast for us. Floyd, Floyd was really good too as a sophomore. Felder will be out of here. Yeah, that's where we sit. Look at team stats really quick. 7,700 yards, 48 points per game. Defensively, we finished. Georgia finished number one. We dropped down a little bit after. We did leave, give up a lot of points to USC there. But uh, there it is. I cannot believe that ending. That was crazy. And oh, there's so much talent there. How do I even do that? There we are. We're 174 and 7. 13 and 0 in bowl games. We've won. We, well, we didn't win the AC in, ACC in one year. That was 08. We did not win the ACC. But other than that, we have just racked it up. So players leaving. I'm hoping none of our DNs. I'm, I'm a little worried either Joey or TJ will try to kick it this year because they didn't play we do have a transfer but it's a you know lower linebacker so that's fine whatever you can go shazier you ain't leaving these guys never leave yeah shazier's back i don't really care about this guy we got henry but he's back we actually kind of low-key need this guy to stay singleton i mean you'll probably get some playing time next year dog blanchard do not leave dude we need you and there we go okay so who do we actually leave lose though we lose some talent aj Oliver, big time guard, big time safety, big time D tackle, big time running back, big time kicker. So yeah, Welsh was good for us. We lost, we lost some talent this year for sure. Okay, and here is the million dollar question: How do I do this? We need Purcell probably the most out of anybody. I think we low key need Harp Humphrey the least, or honestly Debo. But I think it'd be just cool to get Debo Mahomes and orlando just put a bow on our offense here we'll have all three of them for the last four years of the sim oh we only have three years left of the sim so i think i'm just gonna go five thousand to all three mahomes debo orlando and just hope we get at least two we're fighting with usc it sucks that we're in the we're behind with these guys too and yeah, we're like losing with literally all of them we actually have a lead on personal so unless ucf maybe ucf will offer zero points to them like us and we'll lock him down. That's kind of our only hope at this point. Okay. I don't know. I'm not super confident. 5,000 can be risky. Hopefully we get all three. If we don't get at least two, give us all three though. Come on, baby. We didn't get one. Somehow we got the number one class. We didn't get one. We weren't even close. I had to go all in on two. I should have went Mahomes and Debo. Then we would have got them. Wow. Lost them all. So how did we get the number one class? We only got, frick, man. JC was the only actual real guy we got. Like, we did have a, a good class, but damn. Georgia, it's class. Quentin, Cam, Isaiah, Adori. Uh, they didn't get uh, Deshaun, though. Okay, so Debo went to South Carolina. Quentin, Georgia. Dalvin Cook went to, I called him Cooks. Dalvin Cook uh, went to Ole Miss. Um, Terry McLaurin went to Ohio State. Nick Chubb went Georgia. Georgia had a good class. Um, we got McBride, who's a top 10 player, but he's created. Mark, Mark Hill went to Bama. Miles Garrett went AM. Juju went UCLA. Humphrey went Alabama. Joe Mixon went 
uh, A&M, Adoree went Georgia, Deshaun Mahomes went to USC, Marshawn, Ohio State, okay, Georgia had a sick class, we got this Bradley guy, Georgia, another guy there, Mark Hunt, Bama had a really good class too, Did Bama have the number two class, where was Bama, they had a sick class, they much just not got, yeah, they just didn't get enough, man, I can't believe we lost all of those dudes yeah i think that i can i think you just gotta kind of go all in on two if they're big guys like that okay nothing too crazy for position changes okay here we are at the start of the 2014 season just gonna look at the roster really quick before we do the uh recruiting class so not as many 99s as as usual i would say we got paxton lynch he's gonna be our starter probably for the last three years of the sim so paxton you're you're our new guy tonio green and jackson this year and then derrick henry i'll probably just start derrick henry just because i want to start derrick henry we got d hop and amari just holding it down um yeah i mean that's just disgusting as your top two you know, we got Jackson Singleton underneath them. Some good young guys coming up, but those those are one, two. Benson, a nice tight end this year. We got a guy, but then we have nothing after that. So uh, DJ Anderson, really nice left guard, uh, really nice center this year. And next year, a sophomore, nice right guard and a senior right tackle. Defensive ends, we are kind of just loaded like TJ Watt's going to be a third string this year, but these guys are both seniors. And then we got Gray, who's a senior with Leonard Floyd and then Joey Bosa. We got Utley Greer, Chris Jones, Jacobs. Like our D-line is absolutely cracked. Got a nice uh, senior uh, outside linebacker there. Mosley in the middle. Um, and then Shazier on the outside. Corner, Brown and Ramsey are kind of our two corners. Brown will be gone. And then we got Mays as well. Rogers and a young JC Jackson coming up. Uh, really nice senior safety with a nice backup there. And you know, strong safety is probably our weakest point. I guess we could play this more sky at strong though. So that is a team really good once again. D-line is absolutely insane. I'm um, going to make the recruiting class. We'll get into it. All right, boys. So here we go. The start of the 2014 season. Five in a row. Now, this is actually going to be the last custom recruiting classes. Basically, the last two years of these Sims, I don't make a recruiting class just because they're they're not going to have enough time to make an impact really on the sim and it just makes me be able to record the last two a little faster so this is the last custom recruiting class but we do still have three more full seasons so this is it and this is a really cool class very good um yeah and then like i said there's just not enough time so even these guys they're really only going to get to play their freshman and sophomore year right so they're still going to be good players but they won't even be able to make the impact they would if they got to stay for all four or five years if they got redshirted so that is how that works let's get into this um everything's already made so we'll just hop right in so gonna go all prospects and this is the single best quarterback class that i do the whole time so there's kyler murray who we're actually first for josh allen sam darnold joe burrow and lamar jackson who are also first with these guys will probably not even start for us if we get them either but you know i'm gonna go after both of them uh josh allen looking like sc darnold sc burrow looking like bama lamar us in georgia kyler's us in usc or georgia um, running backs, there's three good ones. There's Saquon Barkley, Damian Harris, or Ronald Jones the third. We're not actually um on any of their lists, so we'll just go after those two. Wide receiver, this is a decent one. Uh Calvin Ridley, DJ Moore, Christian Kirk is the other one. Right here. So Kirk's a four star. Um, we're first on Calvin. We'll definitely go after him. Like I said, these class, even this class, like only gonna play for two years so tight end i don't think we have any custom ones but it is low-key something we do need i've i've needed a tight end for a while and i i just haven't been able to lock one down so i'm actually gonna go after quite a few here um offensive line there's only one custom offensive lineman it is connor williams which i don't even see him anywhere did i make him a guard by accident oh for some reason he's a three star 
Not really sure why. I'm going to go after him just because maybe we'll be able to get him because he's only a three star. Go after these guys as well. Then if we get to uh, guards, have no creative guys, we'll just go after this four star. Centers will go, ooh. Honestly, I don't really need any of those guys. Okay, if we go to defense, there's two DNs. They're good, not incredible. There's Josh Sweat and Cle uh, Clellan Farrell. He went to Clemson. Um, he was like a top five pick, so pretty good player. Not really high, but we really don't need DNs. This is like the last position we need. We have freshman TJ Watt, like redshirt freshman TJ Watt and Nick Bosa. Uh, if we go to D tackle, we got two. We got Christian Wilkins and De'Aaron Payne. We're actually first. First for pain, so we'll go after him. Go after these four. These yeah, we have a lot of D tackles. D tackles seem to love to come to us. We have no uh, created outside linebackers, so we'll just look quick. Maybe go after this Marcus Smith, but not too worried about it. We'll go middles. We have Tremaine Edmonds and Roquan Smith. Roquan's actually we're first on his board, so we'll go after him. It's kind of it for linebackers can always get some filler backers later in the recruiting process uh corners we have three pretty good ones we got denzel ward dante jackson and mike hughes and we're not actually on any of their lists which i don't love i'm kind of surprised we're not on either of these two i'm gonna go after dante jackson okay free safety we have a really good one it is minka fitzpatrick looks like he wants to stay kind of up north not on his list which is I would definitely love Minka. Then we have one strong safety, Derwin James, and we are on his list. He's one of my number one targets. We are going to need a uh, some safety help for the last few years of the challenge. So going to go after him. Then go down to athletes and... We got a five star, four star, four star, all first. So we'll go after those guys. Hopefully get some auto commits out of them. Okay, so that is the board. This crazy uh, QB class um it would have been cool to see these guys get a little bit further along in the sim but that's okay still gonna get to see them for two years so that's that let's look at our custom schedule we have a b minus and we booked georgia to start the year i didn't even do that that's one and, and ohio state our first two games notre dame and then our schedule like ranked wise gets pretty easy but wow we are coming out guns a blazing. Let's go. I'm, I'm excited for that. They play Georgia. Let's knock them off their perch right away. I'm happy they didn't get Deshaun Watson last year. I definitely thought they were going to. And that really would have set them up at quarterback for the rest of the sim. Okay, let's look at the top preseason polls. We're actually not number one, even though we've won five, four or five, five straight national championships. We're number four. So USC looks really good. Georgia looks really good. Michigan looks good. We look really good. Bama looks pretty good. Nebraska could be okay. I think Nebraska might have got AM looks good. Texas looks good. LSU actually is good this year. Ohio State's good. We play early. Um, I think Nebraska might have got Patrick Mahomes. It was either him or US or USC got him. Uh Mariota. For Notre Dame this year. Melvin Gordon and then D Hop as a wide receiver is in the top five. Don't see that a lot. So we got uh D Hop, Blanchard. That's it for first team. Second team, we got Brown or Corner and Brigham. How's Clowney been? He had seven and a half sacks last year. That's pretty good. 26 TFLs for Ohio State. Okay. So we got, I'm just going to go in, do our auto commit, see, offer the scholarship, see if we get any auto commits. We get Lamar Jackson. This would have been unreal a few years ago. Right now, he'll probably just be our backup for two years, but hey, cool. We'll still offer Kyler, just whatever. So Lamar, sweet. We got a backup quarterback for the last two years of the sim. Because right now we have no backup. And we're just going to keep offering as we go here. Not getting any other nibbles here. Okay, we get this athlete. That's good. So we did get two five stars, which I like, but uh, that's it. So we got Willie Edwards, a five star athlete, and we got uh, Lamar. Okay, I'm going to make my board right now, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so my plan here, guys, is to really go for stars because there's only three years left in the sim. So I don't really care about depth as much. It's going to be superstars. If we can get some guys who are instant you know, players who can actually help us over the next two years. The rest of the guys where they're going to be slow developing, 
Um, they're just not going to make enough of an impact. So I'm going Derwin, Calvin, Roquan, Connor Williams are three number ones. Um, Dante, De'Aaron, and then two tight ends. So we need a tight end. We That's like the one position where I just haven't been able to lock down a good one over the last few years. So those are the eight we're going with. I'm going to get more points next week after um, I lose, get all my points back for my scholarships, and then uh, we'll divvy out more. Georgia... Week one, number one and two in the country. Okay, we're gonna sim to week or uh, sim through the week. Okay, we got Ohio State. We're gonna sim this one, but this is one we could lose a hundred percent. They are very good this year. They're ranked 15. They are much better than 15. That is it. The win streak is over. 70 something games over five seasons, undefeated, not losing. And it finally happens. Wow. I want to see what the... I think it'll say in NCAA records in coaching. Wow. Coaching career. 73 win streak. Crazy. 73. That is it. It is over. But you know what? I'm not even mad. We still... Who knows? We could still maybe win it this year. And hey, it had to end at some point. It was absolutely unbelievable. So the fact it even went that long was kind of insane. So that is all good. Um, I don't know. I've only done this is only my second one doing this. I did it with Bama where I did this dynasty challenge. I'm definitely going to do it with more schools in the future. So we'll see if I ever beat that. But uh, yeah, I might actually put that in my notes here just so I could come back. 73 game win streak. Um, just so I can come back and even just be like, okay, wait, can I ever beat that with uh, a different team? Okay, so now we're just going to kind of sim and we'll, and we'll see where we get to. We, we don't play a ton of good teams. I want to beat FSU. We're not losing to FSU this year. Um, I'll, I'll be pissed if we lose to FSU. I've never lost him. So I want to keep that rocking. I knew that Ohio State game too. I knew that might give us some troubles. They were not the 15th ranked team in the country. They were much better than that. Here we go. Wake. 34-17. And who knows? We still have an outside shot. If there's a bunch of teams that lose, you know, six in a row is not out of the question. And I think we're going to be better next year and the year after. I think this is our, not down year, but I do think out of anyone or any year, this is the year we kind of are in the worst spot over the next bit. Okay, going to just go back over recruiting. These are the 11 guys we're going after right now. We're first. First with this guy, first, 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 third, but slowly creeping up. Second, definitely creeping up. Ooh, USC just jumped us there. Oh, he just went on his visit. So we're right, right in it with Roquan. Definitely first and then close with us in Georgia, Auburn. But yeah, Ridley, I want Derwin. Dur Derwin's the number one player I want because we don't really have a strong safety next year. We we could really use him. He'd start as a freshman, play for two years. So, okay, we're going to advance through Duke. And then we got FSU. And if I lose this one, we lose our second game and we we wreck our winning streak against Duke or FSU, then I'll be then I'll be a little I'll be a little heated. Oh, we got Calvin Ridley. Let's go. That's a big recruit. Big recruit. Nice receiver. We'll probably play him as a freshman a little bit and a lot of these guys, yeah, aren't even going to play a ton. Hey, FSU, what are they? They're like a ni oh, 93. This is not a walkover game if we lose to FSU. Oh, four-point win. We keep it going. Yeah, it definitely feels like this year we're just not quite as dominant. We had a great win against Georgia week one, but... Uh, ooh. Not quite as good. I think next year, though, we're going to be right back in, in it. Okay, and we had Darren Payne. So we are recruiting class right now. I think we have five, four or five stars. Oh, no. One of them, Lamar was technically a four star. He's a freaking five star. So, yeah, our recruiting class has been nasty so far. Okay, we got UNC, then Georgia Tech, Notre Dame, Volatile. We don't even have a ranked opponent left right now. 49-28. That's so six and one. Sim one more year, then we'll look at the top 25 and one more week, and then we'll look at the top 25 and stuff. Okay, Georgia Tech. Let's beat Tech 49 27. 
So we are seven and one. We're barely in the top 10. So that makes me think there might be quite a bit of unbeatens right now. Okay, so eight and oh, let's go over the top 25. Michigan seven and oh, Army eight and oh, Nebraska, but Nebraska and Ohio State. So yeah, they still have to play Michigan. Ohio State's gonna have to play, obviously, Michigan. Michigan's gonna have to play Nebraska and so that's good. USC, Fresno State, Baylor. So we're the best one loss team right now as far as rating. So we just need a bunch of these teams to lose, basically. <laughs> it's basically what we need. Heisman. Oh, Paxton's in second behind Curtis Miller at Army. Melvin, Marcus. There we go. Let's look at some stats. So we're actually third in the country in passing. We might have played less games. Derek's right there. Uh, D-Hop, third in the country in receiving yards. Tackles sacks ints okay so 198 rating in his first year as a starter is sick 29 touchdowns seven picks that's a little bit more like aj had three picks in three years <laughs> but paxton's definitely more of a running threat than aj was 42 a game four touchdowns plus you throw in henry 66 yeah so probably our run game's a little stronger d hop and benson's getting a lot of run at tight end uh cooper's played good but hasn't quite got the opportunities it's been kind of going to benson a little more so that is that's all right though defensively we got shazier moss floyd utley mosley tfls carry carry's kind of leading the way here 13 tfls five sacks a bunch of guys have one pick so that is where we're sitting let's look at team stats so yeah we're second in total offense but yeah they've played one more game so we're right there we're actually third in scoring we've led the country in scoring a ton so we'll see if that rebounds a little bit uh defensively holy 183 we're like oh michigan we're like double what michigan's allowed so not quite as good defensively as some past years as well so okay well we'll, we'll, we'll keep it rocking Okay, looking at recruiting. We're first Derwin. I just had to open the door with Roquan, so we jumped up to second. Connor Williams, second. Dante, we're fourth. It might be tough with Dante. Uh, the two tight ends were in first, and yeah, it'll just see. At least if we get one, we'll be killing it. Marcus Smith were first. The two athletes were first. I've just been adding. Like, I got a few extra points, so I was giving it to the safety, four-star safety. Um, yeah, that is where we're sitting. A bunch of visits on week 12. We have one, I think, yeah, Dante's week 11. So, But everyone else is week 12. So yeah, Dante's in this week. Got to beat Notre Dame. Oh, our second loss. Oh, so that is going to wrap it up, guys. The five-time undefeated national champions streak is over it's a wrap put a fork in it it's done and call and we lose connor williams right before he comes in for a visit so not a great week we do have a ton of guys in for visits this week so it'd be nice to lock a few of them down let's see beat vatek a little closer but yeah wow two losses so yeah we went for in 07 we went 14 and 0 then 08 we had two losses then 09 14 0 10 14 0 11 14 0 12 14 0 13 14 0 14 looks like we're gonna have at least two losses we gotta me we gotta try to win the acc okay we didn't get any of the oh we got derwin okay we got a lot of guys but derwin was the big one okay uva Ooh. yeah just I, I had a feeling though i didn't think this was our best team honestly you look we didn't have as many 99s we wiped the floor with georgia which made me a little more confident but i think next year we got a chance to win it again we do have six national championships plus another two undefeated 14 and 0 seasons so i don't always know how to best um you know sort that but we've got at least six and roquan we're we're in a, we're in a good battle with all these dudes okay gonna go through pit here not gonna focus as much on this this season anymore guys we're out of the natty that's what we care about we were i want to win the acc we've only not won the acc one year since we've been here so i do want to win the acc but uh we're, we're here to win national championships that's what i care about you know we won six I got two more tries to get seven. We got Dan Man, cool name, good job. Okay, so we haven't had either of Roquan or Dante commit. So we play UCF. So we got Roquan, who we got a 900 point lead. We got Dante, who we we're actually losing. And we have this safety 1400 point lead kicker. 
I'm probably just going to go 7,500 to each of the big guys and just say, eh, we'll see. So trying to win. We're in number three. What? We might make the national championship. We might make it. Georgia and AM play each other. Unless Nebraska wins and jumps us. Holy. Okay. There's no unbeatens. I, I wasn't. I thought two losses. It's done. Guys, we can make the natty still. We could, we could win six in a row. I don't, that just shocked me. When I looked up, I was like, we're number three in the country with two L's. We're about to play a, a, a ranked team. I don't even know what to say. Leonard Floyd. Okay. We could just, we, 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 we can win six. We can win six still. Unbelievable. George and Tanem are the two teams ahead of us. They play each other. Pretty sure one of them has to lose. I think that's how football works. And it'll just be down to us or Nebraska. I, I'm i I'm shocked right now. Okay, we're going to go through the first quarter. We score 7-0 right away. They don't answer. And then we don't answer. Then we answer. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think their offense is good enough to hang with us. We can go up 21-0 right now. I, I am in utter disbelief that I was resigned. Like, eh, whatever down here hits a nice little check down there uh yeah i was like all right we didn't get it done that is fine you know you can't win every year 14 of 15 for 198 for paxton but all of a sudden it's it's possible throws a slant amari cooper touchdown 21 nothing in the acc championship i'm probably just gonna go to the end of the game here unless something wild happens yeah 28 nothing they they just can't play with us they're already 2 7 49 14 okay they're, they're scoring a bit here but too little way too late 66 on them 66 so that's some style points for the committee or polls or however they're gonna decide who's in the national championship 250, 258 rating with eight touchdowns for Paxton Lynch. I don't know if I've ever seen eight touchdowns. Oh my goodness. Three each for Amari and Hopkins with 180, 123, and then our tight end had 105. Wow. Guys, I cannot believe we might play in the national championship. So it's going to be us or Nebraska. Nebraska could lose as well. I kind of hope we play Georgia again and try to get the fourth against them. Um... Okay, I'm going to go. So we win. Let's go Georgia A&M. Sim this game. What's the score? A&M beats them pretty good. A&M has a ton of talent on offense. Uh, USC only has one loss. Let's see what happens here. They could maybe jump us. I just don't know. They're at six, though. They win. Okay, so Ohio State, Nebraska. This is a huge game. If Nebraska wins this, I think we're basically locked in. Nebraska loses. I think we're going to be in. It'll be us or SC. SC does have one loss. I don't really get why we're ahead of them in the rankings. So let's see here. <sighs> Let's see. I don't really understand. We have two losses. They have one. Why we're ahead? I don't know. Let's see. Are we going to play an AM or is USC? Ooh, Mariota just beats out Paxton for the Heisman. We are in the national championship for the sixth straight season. I I didn't I didn't think we could after that second loss. I was like, it's done. That's okay. It's done. I am shocked. US, we're in over USC. One loss, USC, and we get in with two. I mean, we are the five-time defending national championships. I guess that might buy you a little wiggle room, but wow. Okay, I want to look at AM's roster really quick. We did kind of look at it preseason. We are we have more talent, but they have a ton of firepower and offense. 98 quarterback. They're going to have a nice QB next year. 97, Todd Gurley at running back with Joe Mixon. Um, and then three, 96 plus receivers. I don't think they're incredible on defense. Good at safety there. Oh, play one of your guys there. Two nice corners. Linebackers are not, not great. So I don't know how good their front seven is. Decent at D tackle. They have Miles Garrett, but he's super young. And yeah, so... O-line, D-line, whatever, but their skill positions, they're going to be able to score, and we got to stop them. Wow, look at the defense. They're 99 offense, but 92 on defense. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe we made it. Two losses. Two. There was two years where we were 14-0 and when I didn't make a national championship. 
And this year with two losses we get in, they actually finished with a third best defense points per game. We're 22nd. We're narrowly better on offense. I like points and yards wise. Wow. Ne six in a row we're trying to win. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe we are here. Let's go through the first quarter. We start out, we get stopped, they get stopped. We go down and score. They get stopped. We go down and score. Okay, now they're driving though. Third and 15. We can put a stranglehold on this game right here. Big time quarterback for them. Drops back. We're bringing a blitz. Ryan Shazier. Let's go. Shaz, baby. They're going to punt it and we could actually end this shit right here. It is third and seven. 14 nothing. We're backed up though. But if we can put a drive together, 21 nothing in the first half. Paxton, Henry beside him. They're bringing a blitz. First down. Let's go. Paxton, 178. He is playing good football right now. Him and Henry in the backfield. Straight drop. Fires in another one to Anthony Jackson. Our third receiver, 99 speed. Brings at that. that really explosive speed element to this offense wow we are cooking with gas at the u right now okay straight drop with packs and oh my gosh derrick henry that should have been a pick and henry just stole that wow henry saved paxton's ass there henry's gas right now he's breathing heavy Oh, Paxton going to tuck and run. He's going to get sacked. Third and 10. Big third down. If A&M can get off the field, they'll be in an all right spot. If they don't, though, they'll be in trouble. Okay, empty here. Don't mind that. Going to motion our tight end across the formation. Drop back. Fired over the middle. No, we're going to be short. Derek Singleton, that's like our fourth receiver or maybe our tight end. Um, we're going to punt the ball. A&M's got a shot here. Third and three, they get it. Ooh, they're going to score here. Third and goal from the one inch line. They got Todd Gurley in the backfield. Can our defense come up big here? Going to hand it off to Gurley. We had a bit of penetration, but Gurley's going to get in. So we got a game here. Second and eight, first and 10. Ooh, Henry had a 43 yard catch, and then we score to Henry again. Henry's been killing it. He's a freaking freshman right now. Third and 11, fourth and six. They're punting and we're driving. Boom, Amari Cooper for 26. All of a sudden we're up 21 and it is halftime. They get the ball. They need a touchdown here and they're in third and 24. This is when we need to bring the heat. We got TJ Watt at the bottom of the screen. I want to see a TJ Watt sack. Let's go TJ. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. Finds it over the middle, but he's going to get tackled. Jalen, CJ, we're right there. We have a lot of NFL talent on this defense. Ramsey, Mosley, CJ Mosley, Shazier, uh, TJ and Bose on the D-line. Uh, Chris Jones on the D-line. And we get the ball back third and 10. Cooper for 21. Third and three. This is not looking good for A and M. I am in just utter disbelief right now. Derek, get, oh, he's going to be short. That's fine, though. I, I just can't believe that we might win our sixth in a row here after losing twice. Oh, we go for it. We get it to Henry. Cooper for 17. That's basically it, guys. That's going to do it. Um, Unless they can get something crazy, 35-14, but they can't stop us. Their offense is good, but their defense is not good enough. 49-21. They're going to score a late touchdown, but that is going to do it. We're going to run this out. Third and 12. Six, five, four, three, one, six in a row. Six. I can't believe it. The great that's got to be the greatest run in sports history. Six national championships in a row. Ryan Shazier in the first quarter came on the blitz. Blow him up, young man. I'm 
Two losses, we get in and we hammer AM. The U. We have put together, we got two more years still, guys, but that gives me seven national championships as well, which is just crazy. It took me all 16 years to get the seven with Bama. We do it in 14. Um, and we didn't even, I didn't win one for the first four years. Didn't win one. Then we won seven of 10 and six in a row. Ah, Paxton killed it. Six touchdowns. Henry was 63 yards rushing. He also had 74 yards receiving. Cooper and Hopkins. Cooper in back-to-back -back natties has had like 170 yards. He's been incredible. That was actually D-Hop's last game, which he had a career. He's he's well into the 5,000 yards receiving, I think. Add to profile six in a row. It's advanced week. D hop actually the most receiving touchdowns ever wow okay that's an ncaa record we have the you know, longest winning streak ever oh it was actually 74 games not 73 i'm gonna switch out my notes 74 game win streak any more d hop yeah, D Hop's the best receiver we've had. Just under 5,000 total yards. Yeah, so that's D Hop was D Hop was a killer over the career. Paxton led the country in passing. Uh D Hop was eighth in receiving, a little bit worse than the last few years. Moss and Carey, one and five in tackles. Carey had eight and a half sacks. Didn't have a ton of picks this year. Um, Paxton, 206, 57 touchdowns, eight picks. Henry just under a thousand yards. Paxton had over 60 touchdowns when you include rushing. So Paxton was incredible. Did lose two games, but led us to the natty. We had two thousand yards rece receivers with Amari and D Hop. And Amari's really going to be taken over next year. We look at D Hop's four year run. Played a bit as a freshman, then 14, 14, 1200 yards, 17, 23, 17 touchdowns. Wow. He was an absolute killer in the red zone. Benson was a really nice tight end for us. Jackson, we have him back next year. He'll probably be our number two receiver. Absolute speed demon on the outside. So he's going to be nice for us. Um, defensively, I don't think we lose a ton. We lose a few linebackers, but... Uh, TFL's care. Oh, we lose Carey, who's really good. But the amount of defensive ends we have is pretty scary. Ints. Ramsey really hasn't had a ton of production so far in two years. Only one pick over two years. But uh, that's all right. Team stats. We finish the number one total offense again. Number one, barely over Notre Dame scoring overall. Notre Dame did beat us this year, though. Um, defensively, not our best showing this year not our best Woo. 340 points um but i mean we won the national championship again i actually forgot to write it down there we go so we got two seasons left we do still have the off season here though end of season yeah we're in some recruiting battles bcs national championship oh i forgot to look at the ah, i forgot to look at all americans which i like to look at okay so we're 186 and 9 48 and 4 35 and over versus rivals, 14 and 0 in bowl games. Okay, players leaving. Hopefully we just don't have any transfers because nobody ever leaves early. I'm, I'm sure that'll change in the new NCAA game that comes out. I'm sure it'll be hard to keep guys and there'll be all the transfer portal and everything, but oh, oh my God, I just said it. it's, ne I never get guys leave early and Paxton might leave. Oh, we caught Paxton back. We would have had to start. It wasn't kind of cool to start true freshman. Okay, all of a sudden, guys trying to leave. I don't really care about you, Singleton. It might have been fun to kind of just start Lamar. I might start Lamar next year. For the last year, start Lamar, just let him rock. And Higgins definitely would like you back. Okay, so who'd we lose? Mosley, D Hop, Butler, Carey running back we don't care yeah so we honestly like we didn't lose a ton d hop d hop is a big loss but i think we're gonna be very good next year like i think we're gonna be better next year than we've been in years past and as well especially in last year even though we did win our sixth national championship in a row okay let's look at recruiting so i'm just gonna go 7500 to each roquan dante um we should get both 7500 if you go if you go above 7500 i haven't ever lost anybody and these two really only gonna maybe play next like our last season 
So not huge, but we want to get these blue chippers whenever we can. Make sure, guys, you leave down in the comments. If you guys are enjoying this, if you like this, definitely sub, guys. You know, it means a ton. Subs always help. Then you guys just get, you'll see my videos more often if you guys like them. Definitely leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this series. It's not over. We still have two more years. And, um, you know, leave a comment down below who you guys want to see next. Like, what team should I do? I'm thinking maybe Nebraska starting in the 90s would be kind of fun. Um, I was thinking USC, Florida, kind of their Reggie Bush or Tebow runs. Uh, those are kind of the top three I've been thinking next. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, so 7,500 for each. We're just going to advance to signing day. Should get both. I think that's one thing. Oh, yeah, we do get both and we get the safety. I think ne in the next times I do this, I'm if I only, I'm only going to really go after. I think sometimes I get a little greedy and I go after three blue chippers in the signing day. You almost just got to go after two. Make sure you lock them down. Like that's what happened to me last year when I lost all three of the big guys. We have a really good recruiting class this year, though. This was one of the better ones we've had in a while number one again so this is the end of recruiting guys I, I we obviously there will still be recruiting but there won't be custom classes so this is where i finish with the recruiting we got number two number 23 number one number one number two number one number three number one number two number one number two number three number one number one so we had one two three four five six seven number one recruiting classes my best i think i ever had i had eight five stars in 05 um darren payne derwin dante jackson calvin ridley were kind of the big ones from this one got a lot um georgia hasn't quite been uh just you know putting it out in this year at least um kyler went to usc josh allen went to cal sam D darnold went to u-dub so you are the pac-12 Pac-10, whatever, got a ton of QB talent. We get Calvin Ridley. Saquon goes to Rutgers. Denzel Ward goes to Ohio State. Burrow goes to Bama. Yeah, LSU fans not loving that. DJ Moore, Mizzou. Uh, Damian Harris, Auburn. Darren Payne comes to us. Tremaine Edmonds, uh, Old Dominion. Josh Sweat, a and Dante Jackson comes to the U. Ronald Jones goes to Nebraska. We get Derwin, which was my number one player I wanted. Roquan, we also get. Yeah, we had a freaking class, guys. We had a class. Clellan Farrell goes to Georgia. We get Lamar and this Marcus Smith guy. Like, oh, yeah, this is one of my better classes for sure. All right, guys, so here I am at the start of the 2015 season. We're just going to look at the start of our roster. And then once again, there is no custom recruiting class for these last two seasons. So we're not really gonna worry about recruiting at all. Now remember, only two seasons left. So as long as someone's a junior or below, we are gonna have them for the last two years of the sim. So Paxton Lynch, only a junior. We will have them for the next two years. We do have Lamar Jackson as his backup as well. Now I have been debating, like maybe I'm gonna start Lamar next year. Just it would be fun to have Lamar play for one year. If we go to running back, Henry, only a sophomore. So we're gonna have him the whole rest the sim as our just lead back we have this antonio green who's a really good backup as well but d hen is an absolute beast we got amari cooper only a junior year so he's going to be our number one receiver for the last two years of the sim then we have a couple of seniors we have the six foot seven guy actually we have three seniors i got this singleton with 97 speed jackson with 99 speed and then this fenton who's six foot seven 230 pounds so we kind of just have a, a ton of guys we have th then next year we'll probably have ridley he's only a freshman so he'll probably play next year with this bell and we'll still have cooper uh tight ends we have this aaron shaw who's going to play for us this year and then we have two freshmen in behind him so tight end probably will be our we weakest spot next year we're going to lose dj humphreys but we have him this year howard will still have next year we're going to lose higgins our o-line will be just okay next year honestly but it'll still be decent but we have a pretty solid o-line this year our pass rushers are just insane. We have a 97 and a 96, and then a 96 and a 95. Floyd and um and Gray are both seniors, so they'll be gone after next year, but next year we'll still have Bosa and Watt. So we're gonna be absolutely loaded. We got two seniors in the middle of this, three big 906 plus seniors. Then we have Chris Jones as well as a sophomore, and this Ray Justice will be back next year. We got De'Aaron Payne as well, so really loaded there. We have a junior, really good linebacker. We have a junior, another good linebacker with Rokon Smith behind him. We have Shazier, who's our best linebacker. He is a senior though. Then if we go to corner, we 
we got this Andre Mays, who's a senior. We have Jalen Ramsey, who's only a junior, so we'll have him next year. This guy's a senior, but we'll probably play uh, Ramsey, JC Jackson, and Dante Jackson next year as our three corners. We got this Sam Morse, who's a senior, so he'll be gone after this year. Then we just got Derwin James, who's actually going to start for us this year at safety. So that's the team, guys. We are really freaking loaded once again. We're not going to worry about red shirting this year. No one really, it's not going to matter. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through our depth chart here. See if anything really major stands out. We're going to start Bosa and Watt just because it'd be fun. Okay, so that is where we are sitting, guys, into this year. Let's see what our custom schedule is like. So we're starting out as a B minus. We do have Oklahoma early in the year and Clemson, two ranked teams. We do have Florida State and then a good Notre Dame team late in the year. So that's actually a pretty decent schedule. So we are coming, you know, we've gone six. We went, yeah, six natties in a row. We did finally lose some games last year. So our un it's been a few days since I recorded. But yeah, so our unbeaten streak is over. But, you know, six in a row. We have a chance to win eight national championships in a row. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we'll see. Okay, let's look at all the preseason stuff. So we will look at top 25 we should be the number one team we are we're an a plus uh usc is also an a plus a and m's an a plus george is an a plus texas a minus ohio state's an a plus is there anybody else a minus for clemson who we play earlier in the year look at the heisman paxton will probably okay uh, paxton's the early season favorite right now so makes sense preseason all americans paxton lynch first team with amari cooper uh, our center as well. Nothing on defense. Second team, we got our left tackle in Humphreys. We got Ryan Shazier, Rogers at corner, and Morse at safety. So a lot of a lot of preseason All Americans. Look at championship contenders. There's only two years left. Us, USC, Georgia's. You know they're fourth and two. So A and M's right there. Yeah, here are kind of the A pluses overall. Alabama, Ohio State, Texas, Georgia, AM, USC. I wonder if we're still considered the toughest place to play. We did lose. Yeah, we did lose a home game. So all right. So we're yeah, once again, we're not doing recruiting. So I'm just gonna kind of start simming through uh simming through this season. So we have our first game of the year against FCS East. Um should be a pretty big win. Hopefully we put up like 60, 70, 48, 7. We'll take it. So we have number 11 OU. Okay, we got number 15 at home. This should be a win, 59-20. That's what we like to see. There we go. Team is rolling, trying to win our seventh straight national championship. What do you guys think of this, Sam? We're getting close to the end. Like, is there any ways you think I should make it harder, more difficult? What could I do? What would you guys, what things would you guys like me to touch on more? Where you want to see more games live? Do you want to see more of the recruiting? Let me know down in the comments, guys, what teams you want to, you know, want me to do next as well for this dynasty challenge. And yeah, we're going to keep it rocking. Okay. Going to sim through this Duke game. Should be a win. 55-14. Okay. Hey, we got UNC should be another win 45 7 so we're off to a good 5 and 0 start so far okay we got BYU should be a win <sighs> nothing really till F oh Notre Dame lost some games maybe we'll watch some FSU depending what their record is if 49 7 win over BYU depending how Florida State's looking I mean I don't think we're really gonna have a tough game till the natty it doesn't look like maybe two pretty good games at the start like Oklahoma Clemson that's not like a super easy, basically, first two games of the year. Three and three, Georgia Tech. We're the number two team in the country. 78. 13. Woo. We got to go look at the stats on that one. Anytime you get in this high 60s, 70s, especially if it's on an FCS school, I got to look at the stats. I got to see what happened. Let's see where FSU is after this week. If they didn't lose, they might even be in the top 10 now. FSU, ooh, they lost. So they're number 17. I think we'll watch some of this. So I don't think it'll be crazy close, but 78. Lamar got some action, had threw a touchdown. Somehow Paxton only threw for 161 yards. We barely threw for over 200 yards. Lamar ran for two. Paxton ran for one. I'm confused. How did that even happen? Did we get like a bunch of defensive TDs? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. That was super weird. Okay, somehow we put up 78 points with not a lot of yards. So we must have just been getting a ton of turnovers. Turnovers. Okay, got FSU. 
We're just going to sim through this week. Then we'll look at the top 25. We'll see how many un undefeated teams there are. All that good stuff. Okay, let's look at the top 25. We're at number two right now. Ohio State is undefeated. Georgia. Georgia, look, they've lost two games. They just haven't figured out that quarterback position, in my opinion. Ohio State, they look good, I think, but not crazy. They got Zeke. I actually don't know if we looked at their team. They're only a 97 overall. AM, USC have lost multiple games. Yeah, there's really a, not a ton of even 99s. Like, there's us, Georgia, and AM. Um, but yeah, it looks like it could be an us Ohio State matchup. Heisman watch, Paxton in first, Kenyon Drake. Let's look at some stats. So Paxton leading the country in passing, Jared Goff in second. Uh, Green is actually ahead of uh, Henry in rushing yards. Amari second in the country in receiving. I knew he was going to be doing something crazy. Utley, Sacks, Utley, interceptions, Rodgers. So Paxton, 199 rating, 26 touchdowns, three picks. Uh, Green is just getting a lot more carries than Henry. I don't know if that had a lot to do with the start of the year when he was starting. He's averaging 90 yards a game. Paxton has another six touchdowns on the ground, too. He's probably going to run away with the Heisman. Lamar's actually got in a bit, too. 117 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Um, it wasn't, wasn't great throwing the ball when he was in, but uh, yeah. Utley, um, our big D tackle while wow, leading the team in tackles, TFLs, and sacks. This guy is playing incredibly well. <laughs> and then Rodgers, Ramsey looks like he has two picks. JC Jackson been getting in the games and has two uh, safety and two uh, defensive touchdowns. Shazier, five knockdowns. So that's kind of where, where we're sitting with that. Team stats. Total yards, Georgia is ahead of us, but they've played two more games and they have 20 more yards. Uh, we're scoring 12 more points a game than them and they have two losses on the year. Defensively, we are the first number one. So we're number one scoring offense, number one scoring defense. We look like an absolute house this year. Okay, probably just going to sim through. Yeah, we don't really have anything. So I'm going to sim. Probably won't watch another game till the ACC championship. 34 to 9. So that's a low scoring affair for us. Notre Dame is now unranked. I think they were seventh in the country at the start of the year. But I could kind of see that coming. I actually didn't think they looked that incredible. Sim through at Notre Dame. 49 28. Get another win. Trying to go for seven natties in a row. KUVA, just sim through. Pitt, Pitt's not ranked anymore either. See if we lose a... Oh, that was a little closer than I would have liked. 38-19. Let's see if we lose one we shouldn't here. And that kind of like ruins our whole bid. I mean, really only have Pitt left. But we lost to Pitt last game of the year. We would not make the national championship almost 100%. So even though tricking two years ago, I cannot believe we made that natty where I uh, where we lost two games. So nine and two and they're unranked. That's kind of weird. So I don't know if this is going to be a total walkover, but we'll see. Pit. Oh, 37-9. There we go. So we're going to make another ACC championship game. If we win it this year, we'll win it 15 of or 14 of 15 years. The only year I haven't won it so far was in 08. We finished with two losses. And then right after that is we have not lost a national. We won the Natty every freaking year. Okay, we got conference championship game 10 and 2 uh, UCF. Uh, we're the number one team in the country. Maybe Ohio State ended up losing. Are we the only? Oh, my goodness. Clemson might make it. I, I, it'll probably be the winner to A&M Georgia, actually, because whoever wins that will jump ahead. As long as we <laughs> beat UCF, we'll go for well, we'll try for seven in a row. UCF, not a bad team. I added them to the ACC to make it a little tougher. They've they built themselves a really good program. Uh, 12th in the country in offense, uh, not a great defense. We're first and first. One of our better teams on paper, like as far as how well we are in the snow, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. But one of our better teams on paper we've had uh, where we're one and one, both both sides of the ball. We've had it for sure before, but not maybe only three, four times. It is snowing. Okay, let's go. Go next quarter. We go down quick 7 nothing. They go down, get their own 14-7. 
They score right back, 14 all. We got it first and goal from the one inch line. This is Derrick Henry time. Oh, Derrick Henry's not in. Why do they keep playing this other guy over Henry? Like, is it like auto reordering my depth chart or something? Well, Antonio Green's in. I would have liked to see D Hen there, but hey, 2014, UCF's in it right now, so we gotta close this deal down. Okay, fourth and four. Oh, and we go up another score right there. We got him on third and 10 here. Let's see what the D can do. I wanna see Joey or TJ get in the backfield here. It is white out there. They got their all whites on. No pressure. Ooh, that's a dot over the over our corner that's a nice throw there for chris mitchell oh no chris mitchell's a receiver okay third and five let's see what we can do here we got our four down lineman look that's what i like better for us um get some of our big d tackles on the field can motion this guy across the formation okay let's go get after him oh they're going screen pass screen pass we sniff it out there we go and they fumble but they do recover we sniffed out that screen pass. I think that's Jalen Ramsey right there, number five. Fourth and seven. They're going to punt it. Third and five. Ooh, fourth and five. Should we go for this? Why not? Let's go put them away right here before half even. Go this vertical shake again. It's worked for us last time. No rolled up corners. This looks like cover three. Jackson or Singleton. Oh, no, it's man. That's where that route right there is going to be perfect, though, to our, to our tight end. Okay, first and 10, second and 10. Ooh, third and 10. We get stopped, but we go for it. Third and five. Let's see. Let's close this out. 28 14. Paxton's 174. Three touchdowns. Play well today. Hopefully, he locks up the Heisman. Okay, drops back. Plenty of time shifts. Ooh, he's going down. That's a big play. We're going to get a field goal still, but that's a nice play by the UCF defense. Let's get going a little quicker here. 31-14, 38-14, 45-14. Okay, now we're running away with it. 52-14, 52-21, 52 Ooh, 59-35, 59-43. Whoa, we put up 66, but... They actually could move the ball against our defense. They put up 51 on our defense. We're the best defense in the country. We're averaging like 12 or 15 a game or something. But there we go. Paxton, eight touchdowns on the day. Huge day for Pax. Wow. Okay. ACC champs once again, 14 of 15 years. Paxton, eight passing touchdowns. Holy. Uh, Green had 161 and one on the ground. Amari, 236 like he's just force feeding it to amari just give amari cooper the football he's better than everyone better than everyone else on the field don't love we got 51 on our head but other than that wow paxton loses the heisman that guy had 1300 yards and 18 touchdowns or 15 what paxton should have won the heisman are you kidding me I mean, I, I think his stats are going to be insane when we go look at them. We're playing Georgia again. We've already beat them in three. We haven't played them in three in a row, though. We did beat them our first three, and then they haven't been back. Like, Pax, look at Pax. This, this isn't even over. Pax in 4,100 yards, 47 touchdowns, plus another 500 yards on the ground and seven touchdowns. And he loses the Heisman to a LSU running back who had 1,500 yards and 18 scores. That doesn't even make sense. We're going to look at these stats more in depth here, but I, I just wanted to quickly look at that because that's insane. But here it is our arch rival the bulldogs who it looked like we were going to be neck and neck with them it looked like it was going to be us or them every single year we ended up beating them three years in a row they have not been back since and now they finally are they have a wicked offense almost as good as ours but their defense is ass 94th in the country 91st against the pass we're the number one offense number one defense scoring we're still 11th in yards so oh henry was injured so that's why that guy was getting so much run um amari scott paxton is our top three they got tonsil kamdichi and uh, mike, big mike williams that's not bad we definitely have more of the injuries oh my gosh we're losing that utley who was killing for it for us early in the year 
So we have more injuries. Henry Utley, uh, offensive lineman. Georgia is coming in fully stocked, fully ready and loaded. Now, we also played them in a regular season game where we won. No matter what, even if they beat us today, we're going to own the matchup. You know, we got them. Even if they won this, we'd be up 3-1. But if, if we just keep adding to this, go 4-0 and versus them in the national championship game, I mean... Who freaking knows? Okay, let's get this going. Paxton for nine. Ooh, it is fourth and one. Let's go for this. I'm going to take over here. You know, I only really do this in fourth down, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I don't want to punt here. I want, I want to go put the pressure on, uh, on these guys. We got Sean on the option route. Also like Amari on that kind of uh, backside slant post right there. Oh, that guy was coming. Oh, I thought he was going to stay outside. I'd already committed to the ball. Wow, that's a huge play for Georgia on, on me. And they score the next play. Mike Williams for 34 yards. And all of a sudden, we're in trouble. Okay, second, two, first and 10. First and 10. Second and five. Third and five. Let's go, Paxton. Seven nothing dogs. Drops back. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Finds it over the middle, but we're short again. That's going to be fourth and you. I'm going for it again. I'm taking over. I'm going to my stick play. They did stop us last one, but I, I think we'll be able to convert it here. I like the option route. If not, I got Singleton or Amari on the backside. I just got to read that out better. Yeah, we're going to have Amari right there on that glance route. Make a miss. There we go, Amari. So our option route was covered. We had uh, Amari on the glance over the middle, though. Second and 10. Third and three. What do we got here? We're getting in these third downs. I want to convert. Before. We don't want to get third down. We want to get before, you know, first down before third down. Okay. Packs him. Plenty of time. 81 right there. You had the tight end. And now we got to kick the field goal. Got to kick the field goal now. Okay. Kick it. 7-3. Ooh, are we going to be able to stop there? Oh. Okay. We got him to third and two here in field goal range. We had that turnover on downs on our first drive. They're going to get the ball after half. So George is in a nice spot here. QB drops back. We're bringing the blitz. I think that was Ryan Shazier shot out of a cannon in the QB's mouth. Field goal no good. And all of a sudden, we just bought back a possession. Fenton for a 64-yard touchdown. I'm pretty sure that's our 6-7 receiver. All of a sudden, script change, we're ahead. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, second and 10, first and 10, second and four, first and 10, second and four, first and 10, second and 12, third and two. Can we come out? This is basically the same area of the field where we brought that Shazier blitz. Um, this looks more like a run, run play here with Kenyon. Yep, they're going to run the ball, but we get him in the backfield that was shazier who burst through again at first then we have more guys ready there to clean it out I, I think i'm gonna watch this just okay they are gonna kick the field goal i thought they might go for it there but they're they're gonna go to to get the tie right here they missed the last field goal so maybe their kicker's not that good he drills that one though. okay 10 10 after one um we're trying to win seven in a row in a row i never thought in one of these challenges i'll be i'd be able to do that so We'll see. Third and five. Okay, first and ten. Second and five. First and ten. Second and eight. Okay, third and three. We're one for four on third downs. We have got some fourth down conversions though. Uh, okay, Pax and ten ten. We need it. We need a. We need to play here, Pax. Okay, gets it out there. Green, nice run. This is nice. I, I thought we were playing this guy over Henry, but to have this ninety nine running back as the backup for Henry when he goes down is absolutely huge. We're, this guy will be gone, but we're still gonna have Henry next year. So. Uh, we got Amari to the top of the screen. I'd like to... Okay, Paxton can run, though. Tuck it and run. Just don't fumble. That's perfect. We're still going hurry up here. Second and three. I'd like a shot play with Amari. He's the best player on the field. Best receiver in the country. Put him to work. Okay, draw. Don't hate it. Oh, we fumbled. But we recovered. Woo! Singleton drops on that one. Third and four. We get it. First and ten. Second and ten. Third and five. Big third down here. We don't want to go right, walk away with three. We want to score. I want to go to Amari. I'm going to find Amari wherever he is and go to him. Up over the top corner. Touchdown. Is that Fenton again? The big 6-7 receiver in the back corner. I think it was Paxton with the great throw. That is Fenton who's having a bit of a coming out party here. Second and fourth. Third and four. All out. Oh. Uh, Georgia Smith sprained elbow out for at least a quarter. It said, I think. Okay, third and four is massive. If we get a stop here, get the ball, 
pressure. He's going deep. He's going deep. He's going deep. We're right there. Oh, that was Derwin James, the All-American freshman right there. Could have been picked. Oh, they're going to punt it to us. If we can score here, we put it. Oh, we're fourth and six. We're going to have to punt. Okay. Um, third and five, though. Once again, another huge third down. They're 0 for 3 on third downs. Make another play here, defense. We got Derwin James and Jalen Ramsey on the back end. Ryan Shazier at linebacker. We already know about our D-line. Push in the pocket. We get home. Fourth and 12. We own the freaking dogs. If you're a dogs fan watching this, I feel bad for you, boys. I feel bad for the state of Georgia that you had to witness this. Amari Cooper for 19, second and 12. Five-yard penalty against offense, third and 18. Ooh, kind of out of field goal range-ish. What do we got dialed up for third and 18? I'm going to Amari. I'm just finding Amari, and I'm going to him whenever I can. He's going deep to Fenton for the first down. Fenton has been clutch as hell today. 99 yards on three receptions, 194. I can't believe we just converted third and 18 on the dogs. We own the dogs, man. I, I need to get a leash for these boys. Okay, there we go. Second and six, still going hurry up almost at the half, but they get the ball after half. So even if they, even if we score, obviously it's nowhere near over, but if they hold us to a field goal, they're really in a fine spot going deep in the end zone. Picked, 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 picked. Wow. Paxton got too aggressive. Okay. We need our D to make a play here. Third and inches, first and 10, second and one, first and 10, second and 10, third and seven. We have been nails on defense on third down. They are one for five. Let's go get another stop, guys. We just have so much talent on this defense at all levels. We're bringing a blitz, bringing it off the edge. We force it. Wow, I love that blitz call by our D coordinator. Make them throw it up into coverage. Um, we stop them, fourth and nine, punt us that football. First and 10, Singleton, green for 19. Green for 12, Fenton for 20, 13 seconds left. We're first in 10. We got a timeout. Um, we're one. Oh my God. We're at 50% in the red zone. This game could be over if we did a better job of converting. Okay. Paxton. Ooh, check it down. Get out of bounds, Singleton. He didn't get out. Are we going to call a timeout? Okay. There we go. We're going to be up 10 at half. I will take that. I will definitely take that. They do get the ball. So this first drive of the half is going to be huge. I got them to third and six again, and they have had no answer for our defense on third down. We have brought dogs. We dropped into pressure into pass coverage. We've changed up our looks. We're just rushing four here. Going to check it down in the flats and sit down Kenyon Drake. This defense is balling out. This is the number two offense in the country scoring like 42 a game and we are locking them down. Okay. It is third and 11 though here. So we need to make a play here. We don't want to like our defense is playing great, but we need to, you know, keep correspond on offense. Uh, K Paxson drops back to get pressure oh oh we broke some tackles fourth and four what do we want to do here i love to get aggressive you know i do i think i want to do it i, I just want to put the dogs away i love owning the dogs and, and i don't want to stop now we got yeah right there as he breaks out right there shaw go shaw Perfect. They brought a little man pressure there. That option route's great because it's going to sit down versus zone. It's going to break out versus man. There we go. 14, 8, minus 2, first and 10, second and 8, first and 10, second and 4, first and goal. We punch this in here from the one yard line. This game might be just about over. Paxton is where I love hit Eric Henry, but this guy is good enough. Antonio Green punches it in and now all of a sudden it's a three score day game versus the dogs in the fourth quarter okay what do they got third and 14 they are one for seven we're trying to make it one for eight on third down i am loving our defense we got our four down linemen right now are we gonna bring a blitz nope just their four they're bringing up they're bringing it yep 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 come up one for eight on third down that's been the difference they have not been able to keep their drives going and we're just getting off the field and now we're gonna go down and we're gonna do what we need to do we're gonna kick a field goal here but we're up you know 20 points in the in the um just about in the fourth quarter 
Third and 14 again. Mo Fletcher has not been able to handle our defense. One of eight on third down. We're trying to make him one of nine right now. We're bringing a blitz here. Ooh, they do block it up. Okay, there they finally get the conversion. That's the problem if you blitz. If they do block it up, uh, there should be someone open down field. And there is. Finally, they're able to get one of those conversions. But we get them right next to third and 21. I don't think they're going to convert this. I want Joey or TJ. Someone come off a block here and f this play up yeah yeah right there tj what go down boy wow tj we got back to back sacks on this that play and it just seems like we are too much Ooh, and then pax and lynch gets intercepted not ideal but we got him in third and eight again and they're two of ten they just can't handle I, and i was not expecting this i thought this was going to be a shootout where we were going to have to fight to get stops but so far okay there's a conversion but so far our defense has just been absolutely nails okay so now all of a sudden i mean it's a 13 point game we need it we need to drive pass to fenton for 24 singleton for nine second 11 and we score so we just put it away there fenton seven yard touchdown fenton has been great in this game uh it doesn't really matter what they do now yeah that is gonna do it guys we are gonna win our seventh in a row 14 and 0 versus Georgia again. Seven in a row. We're trying to make it eight in a row, guys. The challenge was to win seven. We've now won seven in a row. We did not win a natty for our first, first four seasons. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. You know, I was kind of like, eh, I mean, I'll keep making the vid, but like, we're not going to be able to get it done. Paxson, 462, four touchdowns. Green played really nice for us on the ground. It was Fenton today. Um, Cooper was very quiet. Five for 67. Fenton, 153 and four touchdowns as a senior. Six foot seven. Georgia had no answer. I actually want to look at our D stats because uh, I think J TJ had at least two sacks, right? We had a ton of sacks overall. Oh, we only had three sacks, but more pressures. Bo Joey and uh, TJ each had one. Um, bunch of TFLs, though. TJ and, J TJ and Joey each had three. Um, yeah, great. Just team effort all the way around to win seven. Seven in a row. There it is. Eight national titles in 15 seasons. And that's not even counting my split ones where I had, I had two other seasons where I went 14 and 0 and didn't make the natty. But we pass Saban with eight. My goodness. Okay, so we already know we didn't win the Heisman. Let's see how many All-Americans we get. We got Paxton, Amari, DJ Humphreys, our center, our right guard. We got Utley who killed it, even though he didn't play the end of the year. Shazier and Rogers. And our kicker, Walters. So, wow, we had a lot of first teams. Not Okay, more on defense for second team. So, all three of our corners were all Americans, which is wild. Uh, and Greer, our other D tackle. So, oh, and TJ was a freaking all American as a sophomore. Um, freshman all Americans. Ooh, Sam Darnold at U Dub. There it is, guys. There's the all Americans. We already seen Paxton led the country in passing. Green had 1,200 yards, 1,400 yards for uh, Amari. Shazier finished fourth in the country in tackles. Utley, there he was in sacks. Rogers right there for INTs. Going to quickly go through this. So Paxson, really good year in his second year as a starter. But I think I'm going to start Lamar Jackson next year just because it'll be fun. I don't know. Might be dumb. It might cost us a natty, but we've already won eight. I mean, we had three guys get over a thousand yards. Fenton had such a good final game. Amari was just incredible all year. Um, and Shaw. We lose all three of these guys. So it'll be kind of interesting to see our pass catchers for next year. We're still going to have Amari, so it's really not going to matter too much, though. Okay, we're going to advance, and I'm just going to go through the offseason. This should be quick, though, because we have no recruiting. Um, so here's where we sit, guys. 209. 50-0 in Bulls. 37-0 and versus our rivals. 53-4 and three, and versus top 25. Here's our, where, what's what our record has looked like. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's see if we have any players leaving. I might just pretend that uh, Paxton left for the draft early. And then uh, we'll just have him as our backup, though. I, I think it'd be just cool to see Lamar. Okay, so we have some guys trying to declare. But I basically no one ever actually leaves. Um, you basically just tell them you want to stay. Get your uh, 
degree. Uh, we do lose a good amount of 99s. Greer, Utley, Green, Shazier, Mays, um, Humphreys, Lloyd. Finn. Yeah, we, we lost some players for sure. So um, that might we might not be quite as good this year. I, I don't even know. We'll have to see how the guys all improve. Okay, so here we are at the start of the final season. Let's look at our roster. So, yeah, I thought we might not be quite as good. We're... <laughs> We have maybe more 99s than last year. So, Paxton, I, I think it would just be fun to start Lamar. You know, Paxton, I feel like whatever. I mean, he's last two years, he's passed for 4,500 yards a season and over 50 touchdowns. But uh, you know what? I think it's just going to be fun to see Lamar. We have Derrick Henry at running back. Uh, just all alone as our starter. We got Cooper, this Devin Bell, and then we got Calvin Ridley, who's going to be playing for us this year as a sophomore. Um, so Calvin and Amari, pretty good uh, at receiver. Tight end, we're not actually incredible. We have these two sophomores who are decent. O-line, we're like good, but not great either. Howard, this Pollock guard, good center, good right guard, and good right tackle. So we're going to be good, but uh, then we at DM, we got TJ Watt with his maze as backup. And then we got Bosa with Hester as a backup, like absolutely loaded. We got Chris Jones and this J Justice on the inside with De'Aaron Payne as the backup. Like we're absolutely loaded on the D-line. Linebacker, 95, 90 with Roquan Smith, who's going to start for us this year. And then this Richardson, who's going to start on the outside corner. We got Jalen Ramsey as a senior, JC Jackson and Dante Jackson. Jackson, so three real life corners uh man and those for us we had a 91 safety with a good backup and then 93 derwin james so 97 kicker 86 punter so we are freaking loaded again again this may be our best team in a long time honestly but like i said i think i'm gonna start lamar all right guys so here it is the final season we're just gonna go through our depth chart here like i was saying i think we're gonna start lamar it might cost us a natty we've already broke the record and like i said i think it'd be just cool to see lamar he's got 96 speed 97 ag agility 98 acceleration can break tackles, elusiveness, juking. Um, and then if you look at his throw power, just under Paxton Lynch. Wow, Paxton got a lot better throw accuracy over these five years. Like, obviously, Paxton's definitely the better player right now. Much better player when you include awareness. Um, can still run. But we're going to start Lamar. Might cost us, like I said, but I think it'll be more fun. We got Derrick Henry. Uh, wide receiver Calvin Ridley is going to be starting in the slot for us. Uh, tight end, probably our weakest position. Left tackle, left guard, center. So our O line is still really solid this year. Left end, TJ. Right end, Joey. Chris Jones and Justice on the mid in the inside. Robinson, Roquan Smith, Richardson, Ramsey, uh, JC, and Dante Jackson. This Kyle Smith and then Derwin James. So team is loaded. We are ready to rock. Okay, let's look at our custom schedule here. We have a B plus. We have Michigan. Oh my goodness. Look at the start of our schedule. Number five, number three, number 23 are three of our first four games. Then we don't have a ranked opponent, <laughs> which uh, like we have Florida State, but the end of our schedule looks like it could end up being pretty easy, but uh, we can't really control that after week 10 anyway. So, uh, I mean, first three games looks like they're going to be our biggest test. I doubt Clemson is actually this good. Uh, I bet you they're like a 92 overall. So, um, but yeah, there we go. Good schedule. Final year. We're starting Lamar. Uh, a little risky, but let's get it done. Okay, so we're going to look at the preseason polls and stuff. We are the number one. I mean, we've won seven national championships in a row. Us, then Georgia, Clemson, like I said, they're number three. They're 91 overall, kind of what I said. UCLA, Michigan's not even that great. Um, Ohio State looks good, A+. Plus. USC's an A+. Plus. a and M's an A+. Plus. South Carolina, okay, A+. Plus. Cal looks decent. They have good offense. I don't know who their QB is. So that's kind of where we're sitting there. Heisman watch. Heisman watch. Pax and Lynch is uh, JT Barrett, okay. But Pax and Lynch is the Heisman favorite. They might. They must not got the memo that he's not starting this series, getting benched after going back-to-back -back national titles at QB. Uh, Mari 
Cooper, Brown at guard, and then our kicker for first team. Second team, just Jalen Ramsey. Got Miami of Ohio, first game. And we win 42-3. So if our defense balls out like that with a young QB, who's not quite as polished as Paxton, then that could really be the difference for us. Okay, we got Michigan. Clemson's at three, but they're not that good. I mean, we could lose, though. It's on the road. We have a really young quarterback starting for us. Um, they're ranked number two in the country right now. Let's sim it, though. Oh, we get a 10-point win. So Clemson came to play, but we get it done. Number 15. So, yeah, three ranked opponents at the start of the year. We got 15 Notre Dame, 38-14. So our offense definitely isn't putting up the stats of past years. We have been playing some tough teams, but... Uh, yeah, more we're in like the 30s to 40s right now as opposed to like the uh, freaking 50s, for high 40s. We were down 14 in that game, it said. Okay, we got UNC 41-14. I like that. Then we got FSU, and this will be unless we play them in the ACC championship game, which I don't think we will. This will be the last time we play Florida State, and we were at FSU. We have never lost to them in my 16, my 15 years so far. They're four and one. It's on the road. We have a young quarterback. This is not an easy game. That does it. Never lose to Florida State. Not once. Crazy. We absolutely own the state of Florida. I mean, we own college football. We won seven straight national championships. But I mean, who's counting? Okay, we got Duke. Let's get another win. 38. Ooh, it's close. That is close, but we get it done. Okay, Mizzou. And this will put us at 8. No, if we win. Okay, 33-14. So we're definitely not scoring those points per game like last year. Or really the last three, four years. Um, but that's fine. We're, we're still winning. I knew we wouldn't be quite as good on offense with Lamar as Paxson, but I thought it would just be more fun, make it a little more challenging. And like, come on, it's Lamar freaking Jackson. This definitely seems the best way though. Recruit quarterbacks and almost space them by like two to three years. Redshirt them. So by the time you start them their sophomore year, when your senior graduates, so they, you have them for sitting for two, either their sophomore redshirt sophomore year or start them their redshirt junior year by then they're high 90s like 97 plus and then you know start them for two to three years and have another guy just that's basically what i did the whole way down and it it freaking really works okay let's look at the top 25 us usc iowa undefeated i would love to play usc again i wonder if mahomes or golf is starting Goff is starting for them, so Mahomes is not seeing the field. Georgia's lost already. Who'd they lose to? Um, they lost to South Carolina. Uh, A&M's lost, so lots of one-loss teams. Obviously, the three unbeatens, but I mean, Iowa still has to play Penn State this week, M Michigan, and Nebraska. So I doubt they'll be. Uh, I'd like to see. I mean, there's a good chance it'll be us in Georgia or us in A&M, too, if they're both undefeated, meet in the SEC or one loss, meet in the SEC championship game. Lee Jones, the running back from USC, Joe Mixon from A&M, Jared Goff from uh, USC. So SC must be putting up some numbers right now. We look at stats. Lamar's still fourth in the country in passing. Uh, Jared's third or second. Henry 766, Joe Mixon 1400 yards right now. Amari 872, Waters has 1200 yards. Wow. Uh, Bosa sack leaders, Bosa INTs. Ramsey's got seven picks right now. We're eight games in. Holy. So Lamar 133 rating, 16 touchdowns, seven picks. So. Putting up a lot of yards, um, almost, you know, 270 a game's good. Just the turnovers, I think, are hurting. It's also ran for 286, which is 35 a game and six touchdowns. Henry, 766. Uh, receiving Amari, 872. Obviously going to be, you know, his stats over these years are going to be pretty crazy. I don't know if he's going to pass D-Hop, though. Calvin Ridley's basically our second leading receiver as well as a sophomore. I like it. 
Um, if we go defensively, Bosa leading the team in tackles and TFLs along with TJ and behind him. Chris hasn't really done a ton. Uh, four sacks for each of them and then three and a half. I cannot believe Jalen Ramsey has seven picks in eight games this year. Another eight pass deflections. None of them for touchdowns, though. Wow. Jalen is balling the frick out. Okay, we're going to keep simming here. Georgia Tech. Ooh, we are winning some close games. I would not be shocked at all if we lost one of these here before the ACC championship game. Okay, Vautech, UVA Pitt. We got three regular season games left in the sim. We win 45-14. If we go undefeated, we're basically guaranteed a spot in the natty unless obviously Iowa and USC both go undefeated, but I don't think they will. UVA, not great. Oh, 10 point win. These are close games. Oh, that's what I forgot to look at was our team stats. Um, like just how we are points per game and stuff. Like I said, we're like probably averaging like 37, 38 points a game around there. Like we were more like 47, 48 last year. That just increases your margin of error so much more. We're a Heisman finalist, one of our guys. Okay, last regular season game of the Sim Pit on the road, 63-42. We go undefeated in the regular season again. We have lost two games. It is 2016. We have lost two games since 2008 09 14-0 10-14-0 11-14-0 12-14-0 13-14-0 2014-12-2 still won the natty 2015-14-0 2016-0 we are 12-11-0 no 12-0 conference championship could be UCF again they seem to always just have a really good team good solid solid group maybe Clemson UCF and they're number six damn so look at the rest of the top 25, get an idea who will end up playing. USC is still undefeated. They do play number five, Washington, who, uh, yeah, I mean, you never know if they lose that. Um, if not, it's basically guaranteed us. And if AM beats Georgia, I would imagine they'll get in. So I, I would guess we either play maybe Michigan, most likely USC, then maybe AM or Michigan. Honestly, Washington maybe sneak in there. If they beat number two and they're number five and they're you know they could definitely jump in there we got to beat ucf though so we're third in points per game still 41 a game is good we're about seven eight points less than the last few years defensively we're eighth so a little bit of a step back from last year i think we were first last year but uh ooh, we lost joey bosa that sucks and we're in the snow for the second year in a row this is the first time i've ever played snow games and it's two years in a row in the ACC championship game. I've never even seen it before in these. Actually, that's not true. I think I have maybe once or twice, but. Okay, six yard, 12 yards, incomplete. Third and 10. Third and 10 right here, just before midfield for Lamar. Got Derrick Henry in the backfield. You got Coop at the bottom of the screen. Calvin Ridley in the slot. Okay, Lamar drops back. Plenty of time. Fires a seed over the middle, and we get the first down to our tight end, Aaron Bradley. Two of four so far for Lamar. We're going hurry up here. We're going under center. Two by two look. Henry in the backfield. We're going to hand it off to him. Big man gets downhill. Picks about eight, nine yards. Okay, under center still in this kind of under center spread look. Hand it off to Henry again. Going to pick up the first. Three by one. Henry goes out on a route. Lamar's going to tuck it and run. Get sacked though. Okay, going to Sims third and three. And we score. We get a Calvin Ridley 30-yard touchdown. Defense gets a stop. We get the ball back. Ooh, Lamar interception. That's been our Lamar's one really kind of struggle this year. And UCF goes and ties it. And then interception again for Lamar. We hold him to a field goal, which they miss, though. Okay, Lamar, we got to straighten that out, my guy. Fourth and five. We punt it. We'll be in the natty. That could be the thing... That bites us in the ass. Lamar's going to tuck it and run. He is fast as hell, and he is in. That is the Lamar Jackson X Factor. That's why I wanted to play him. Tucks it and runs, and he scores. Ooh, they get a couple big plays there, and they score. Okay, so UCF is playing with us right now. Third and five, second and ten, third and inches, first and ten. 
Cooper for 24. We got it inside the six yard line here. No Derrick Henry on the field. We're going to empty first and goal here. Lamar shotgun. We're going to motion our tight end across the field. Drops back. Plenty of time. Finds our tight end for about three, four yards right there. Oh no, that's Calvin Ridley. 201 so far for Lamar. That's a nice passing total. Trips to the top. Drops back. Going to tuck it and run again. And he is so dangerous with his legs. That is why we start him. 21-12. Third and six here. Here's a big defensive down. We need our... It sucks we lost Joey for the season. But we still have TJ. We still have Chris Jones up front. We still have Ramsey who has at least seven picks right now. If you ended up getting more. Oh, there's a big play for them though. Second and nine. First and ten. Second and six. Third. Oh, we picked him off. TJ Watt with the pick. Lamar for 12. Um, Lamar to Amari for 56 yards. And we're starting to run away with it a little bit here. Third and 10. Let's see what the defense can do. I want to see a Jalen Ramsey pick. Add to his total. He's at the bottom of the screen there. Rolled up and press. Drops back. They're trying to maybe a screen pass there. Yeah, we... There's Ramsey comes up and makes the play. We totally sniffed that out. Punt that ball. 28-12, Lamar to Henry, incomplete, first and 10, second and 12, third and three. Oh my goodness, we fumble. The turnovers are one thing that's really just keeping them in it, and they go down and score. The turnovers, Lamar, Lamar, okay, halftime. I think they get the ball. Okay, fourth and 10, they're going to punt us the ball. This game's still somewhat close, though, and we just got, we just got a safety. And now, and then they returned it for a touchdown. What just happened? We just took a safety and they did a punt return for a touchdown. And now it's third and 12. Okay, we are tied right now and about to maybe punt them the ball back right here. What just happened? Drops back. We're checking it down. Calvin, we're going for this. Amari, sorry. Um, I, I, I'm going for this. Amari's been unbelievable today. Um, yeah, no, I mean... We're going to run stick. The best. I love this as a third down play. Third and short. Uh, three. Just the turnovers kill us. Turnovers. We've had safeties. It's been the difference. It's been the difference. I'm going. Oh, my God. Lamar, we just stuck that into a Mario as 190 yards right now. Derrick Henry for 10. Cooper for 7. 3. Coop Henry, Ridley. Okay, we got third and two. 395 for Lamar with three or six of eight on third down. This is probably Derrick Henry time. Nope. We're dropping back. Just oh, we had it. And you lost it. You came back towards the line of scrimmage. We're going for it. 400 yards passing for Lamar. Got our option route here. No, we're going Ridley right there. I think I got it. Yeah, first and goal. First and goal. Tie ball game in the ACC. We're trying to win 15 of 16 ACC championships. There's one gate year we didn't make it. Lamar's going to tuck it and run in the red zone. And that has been incredibly difficult for them to stop. They have had no answer for Lamar around the goal line. Let's see if our D can get a stop here. Second and eight. First and 10. Second and 10. Third and four. Let's go, D. What do we got here? Like I said, I want a Jalen pick. If I got a Jalen pick, I'd be a happy man. Right under. Oh, no pick. But Jalen comes up and gets another stick there in the flats. He has been all over the place. They're going to punt this ball. Ridley for nine. Henry, Henry. Ridley for 30. Cooper for 15, and we score. That might do it. Cooper for 11. Cooper might have 300 yards today. Henry, four yards. Interception, Lamar. Stop throwing the other team the football, Lamar. We do get a stop, though. We're just going to, we went a ton to Henry here. First and goal from the one inch line. Just, just too many turnovers today. Henry and Lamar backfield. Let's see what we do here. And hand it off to D. And we are in. And we 
punched our ticket to another national championship guys that is gonna be eight appearances in a row i i never honestly thought we'd be able to do this in one of these sims like this type of run and i honestly my teams have been good i honestly think my alabama recruiting i was doing better i've done i was kind of in the midpoint of this my recruiting was just okay i like i've been good recruiting but my alabama teams were stacked like insanely stacked i think also though i played in the sec so i had more games where in the regular season i could lose where in these acc it's just like most of the games were just we're just so much more talented um so we don't have a ton of tough matchups Okay, if we look at player stats, Lamar had a great game other than three picks, 504 and three touchdowns. Plus, he ran for three. Yes, plus he had, yeah, so Lamar had a day. Henry was incredible, 177. Cooper had 223, two touchdowns. Ridley had 123 from the slot as well. So, all the big guys on offense came to play. Did we have any picks? TJ, right, had a pick and a sack and a TFL yeah so there we go we punch our ticket let's advance week i'm gonna guess we got usc but ooh, lamar gets second in the heisman race just behind the usc running back and then goff gets third ramsey won something ramsey won another something oh we get you dub they upset sc i did say ooh, if you dub upsets sc we might play them crazy well let's just get into this game and then um we'll look at all the kind of final stuff for the season and the and the whole sim the whole 16 years usc so yeah who we played we have not played super easy teams in the natty either we played georgia 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 penn state usc a m georgia now washington washington's probably like the worst like program but i mean they're 12 and 1 pac 12 champ sam darnold at qb so they do have a good qb trying to win eight in a row nine in 16 years we're gonna sim through here five yard third and eight ridley okay we're going for this early like carter ridley bell yeah right there on the option it hit our tight end in the hands cool 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 darnold we got third and three holding to a field goal here would be nice um wow i i can't believe we just got hit in the hands all right kate darnold drops back and some pressure Ooh, another one hits us in the hand boys i don't know what's going on but but we can't catch it to you right now they go for it and we stuff them wow henry cooper ridley 10 yards cooper for 20 henry for 21 what is happening bell we look at the big plays we are hitting there crazy darnold intercepted by ramsey so that's at least eight picks and then oh my god amari for 40 this might be an absolute blowout right here darnold seven minus one fourth and three third and two we get it six six third and k okay here we go third and ten trying to go up 21 in the first half or first quarter we got our split back look here henry and our tight end in the backfield lamar drops back time a seat over the middle the u we are not messing around right now lamar has 199 yards passing and three touchdowns in the first quarter darnold needs an answer here second and eight we got third and eight 200 yards in the first quarter for lamar jackson it is now or never for you dub they are about to get blown off the field by miami Okay, we're getting edge. Ooh, they run a draw. That was actually, I mean, I hate draws on third long, but I mean, it worked. If they score here, at least they stop the bleeding and they could maybe be in it, but they're back into third down already. Uh, split back look here. Darnold drops back. Boo! Okay, Sam Darnold. Five of 12 for 31 yards and a pick. We're at 200 yards and two touchdowns or three touchdowns for Lamar jeez okay incomplete 
six yards, two yards. Oh, Lamar throw away. Okay, so they got another shot here. Fourth and three. They're punting us the ball. Amari for seven. Amari for seven. Henry for seven. We got third and five. Third and five. What do you got, Lamar? What do you got, big guy? Drops back. Fires another seed right there to Calvin Ridley. He is airing this puppy out. Bell for 22 yards, first and goal from the one yard line. This is Derrick Henry time if I've ever seen it. Hand it off to the big man and let him rumble. Oh, we're, we're passing. Lamar's going to tuck it and run. Okay. Did not work though. You could kind of just feel that. Second and goal, trying to go up 28 nothing in our eighth national championship in a row. Henry we got dropped back. Henry's opening the flat. Oh, he's going to go back corner to Cooper. And I think we're just out. 264, third and goal. I think this is the Orange Bowl too. Yeah, so this is actually like a home game. Trying to win our eighth natty in a row. Lamar motion the tight end across. Drop back. Could tuck and run. We got it down to the one yard line. I might run read option here on fourth down. And then it's just going to be either uh, Lamar or, or Henry. And I like our odds when it's those two. Gonna read that edge defender. He's gonna crash. We're gonna keep. And we're in. Oh. Lamar, 28 nothing, And it is a party in Miami. They get a 75 yard touchdown. But wow. A bloodbath. I'm gonna I'm gonna sim through the rest of this pretty quick here. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. That is gonna be our 16 year rebuild. Trying to turn my goal was turn Miami into the greatest dynasty of all time. Saban has it right now at Bama. Seven natties, six natties, seven natties. Um, and we just got eight in a row, nine overall in 16 years. Uh, it was a fun one. I had fun with the U. Who do you guys think I should do next? Leave a comment. I'll put up a poll on my YouTube as well. Thinking like USC, Florida, maybe mid nineties, Nebraska would be fun. I thought, um, but yeah, I kind of like these 16 year runs cause it gives us a set point. Um, but there it is. I don't know how I will ever beat this run we just went on. I could do a bunch more of these. I don't know how you win more than eight in a row. We went on a 74 game win streak in that time. Like we've had two losses in one, two, th in eight seasons. Lamar, 468, seven touchdown passes. Henry, 152. Uh, Cooper, 198. Ridley, 103. Bell, 117. Defensively, Chris Jones, two TFLs, no sacks on the day. We did have some picks. So Roquan had two picks, Ramsey and JC Jackson. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up here. We're going to look at the final stats for the year. Then I'm also going to look at my kind of final kind of coaching stats you can look at and just kind of see how good we really did. This is what I, I didn't do with the... Uh, I'm actually going to write down like my record and stuff so we could also kind of compare like when I do it at Miami versus Nebraska versus USC versus whatever, where did I actually have the best record over the 16 years? Um, okay, so we're gonna advance one more week here. There it is, nine national titles. I'm gonna write that down. Nine natties. Amari beat D Hop. Amari beat D Hop for career. And yeah, for oh my god, Amari had 1700 yards this year. Just passed Amari. So Amari was the best receiver we had in the sim. Just pe we had D Hop and Amari at the same time at one point. But final All Americans Goff and Jones, Cooper, Brown, Anderson, TJ, and Joey, and Jalen, and Derwin, and our kicker. Second team, uh, Lamar, Howard at left tackle. Uh, our, both our D tackles. There we go. I don't really care about the freshman right now, but because these are just all. Oh, De'Aaron Payne because he did red shirt. So there you go. We had De'Aaron Payne on the inside. So Lamar led the country in passing. Henry still had 1,300 yards. Amari led the country in receiving yards. Um, sacks. How many? I. Will Jalen finish with 10 picks? I don't know if I've ever had a player in one one season get that many who like was on my team. 4,200 yards, 45 touchdowns. Too many picks for Lamar, but he was a 
sophomore red not even a red shirt either so i think you know obviously as we went on in the sim those would have came down henry 1300 yards 506 and 10 touchdowns for lamar as well so 10 plus 45 and 55 touchdowns crazy amari 1700 yards ridley at 8 10 17 touchdowns he had quite a run 818 a thousand fourteen hundred seventeen hundred improved every year amari was a freak for us um was that and henry still has years left too like next year we would have come back we do lose amari but we would add calvin henry and lamar and we haven't done any real recruiting the last two years so who knows who else we would have got tfl's Mays, bosa and watt all up there there's chris jones seven sacks for tj 10 ints for Jalen freaking Ramsey. Look at the awards he won this year. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Eight TFLs. None for six, which, uh, come on. Come on, Jalen. House call some of those. Uh, if we look at team stats, we had the number one total offense. We did end up the number one scoring offense. So there we go. Defensively, we were, you know, seven, eight, ten range around there for points allowed. Okay, let's look at some school records. So. This is kind of over the whole sim plus the rest of the use history. So passing TD's career, Jamarcus. Passing TD's season, AJ McCarron. I thought I forgot about AJ. AJ was really good for us. Passing yards career, actually Jamarcus, because he started as a freshman. Then we had Cam Newton start for one year, and he was maybe the best player we ever had. Um, let's look at rushing. Uh, Trent Richardson was the best running back we had. 4,200 yards in his career defensively. Yeah, we didn't get any of those. Receiving. D Hop, most touchdowns. Dez, most receiving TDs in a season. Amari in a career. Amari in a season for. And then receptions in a career. Amari, receptions a season. Amari. So Amari was really incredible for us. Um, if we go NCAA individual season, do we have any career? So yeah. D Hop had the most career receiving touchdowns ever, and Jamarcus had the most career touchdown passes ever. Coaching career, longest win streak, 74 games, national title, nine. Nine natties, baby. I want to look now, kind of wrapping this up at coach info so we can see some cool stuff here. So if we go over. Oh, it says 15, but it was actually 16 because we actually haven't wrapped up this final season. But I went. 214 and nine record crazy winning season every year 74 game win streak 15 conference championships i'm gonna mark this all down so i can look at it and compare nine natties we knew that 16 and 0 in bowls 58 and 4 39 and 0 versus our rivals is pretty nuts um average recruiting class that's kind of interesting 3.2 See, where I would have easily been my no the number one. Like, I was recruiting better, for sure, at uh, Bama. We had a top 25 class every year, obviously. Only one Coach of the Year award. We only had two Heismans, which is kind of surprising. Bunch of other awards. All-Americans is interesting. We also had, yeah, 143 All-Americans. I wish I would have copied this stuff down for Bama. I wonder if I can go back and look. But uh, 143 all americans crazy so that was the run guys it's gonna be hard to ever beat that run i will do my darndest i will try my best but it will be tough so that is it guys that is the miami rebuild i've mentioned the bama rebuild which i did very similar to this a few times if you guys want to check that out i will link this that right here and you guys can check that out once again guys sound off in the comments what you guys thought of this who i should do next what changes you'd like to see any you know anything like that let me down below and i had a ton of fun with this thank you guys if you watched all three episodes all like 12 hours thank you a ton it was sick that is it, King Reggie, out.